the art of war, divide and conquer and stuff, a lot of people don't realize that a lot of these immigrants, uh, Mexicans, and, and that they're bringing across from the border, which I'm actually in Rocky Point, Mexico right now as we speak. I'm a photographer in Hollywood for the music business. I go back and forth. Um, but a lot, they're actually, um, what they're doing, uh, which a lot of people don't realize, is they're, they're actually filling up California as much as they can with as much Hispanics as they can because there's another, there's another war going on right now that a lot of people don't realize. Um, if you look at all the people who are, are um, they're trying to make all the Mexicans and all the immigrants and all the Chicanos and stuff in L.A. and, and California feel that, the, uh, that California is actually Mexico. So what you're looking at is another no, way. Do you have any of, evidence uh, for your claims? Uh, right. Who is Conflict. they? Who are they that are me- bringing the Mexicans in? Okay, there's there. Okay, now here's the thing. Everything needs to be researched, and what I say is not. Um, okay, they. Okay, I should have. Um, I've got all my notes down. I should have written this down. Okay, okay just to clarify, so what percentage of how do you know what you're claiming? Uh, what is your source? And then what is the uh, breakdown of people who um, are coming into the United States who are doing it for the reasons you're suggesting? Well, see, here's the thing. Uh, Mexico was 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 just um, was made as a docile country. Um, the United States has been using them. We're we're nonviolent. We're we're no threat to them. So as far as um, what there's just plenty of us coming over there, and we're coming. They're coming over there for the jobs, of course. Um, you know, jobs that people don't do. I've listened to your other show how um, people were saying. These, um, you know, they're taking other people's jobs, and then, you know, how you guys are talking about the people they put up there, and they want these jobs. Yeah, they're doing jobs that nobody else wants to do. Of course, you have to understand it. They're, Tell you what, Rick, we're getting a real bad uh, time there on your phone. Maybe we'll put you on hold and see if you can, I don't know if he's on a cell phone or a pay phone somewhere. I'm not I have really no sure clue, but that. it's uh, not coming through very well. Uh, but he hasn't answered the question yet. Where is the information coming from that there's this... It sounds like a conspiracy theory. This sounds like an immigration conspiracy theory. At this point, that's what I am going to consider this, that there's some sort of overarching plot to uh, have uh, people from Mexico come into Canada because that's Mexico. And I think he was going to get to the point that they're going to somehow take over. Mexico and, and, and California, not Canada. Um, the Yeah, well, I think that there there are some people that are of, you know, sort of mestizo heritage that believe for whatever reason that California is um you know is theirs uh, because of some sort of uh, you know bloodline thing uh, i would disagree with those people but do they really want to turn california back into mexico i suspect most of them left mexico cuz mexico kind of stinks I don't mm. think they want to give California to Mexico as much as they may want a certain level of political autonomy. I would like to point out that I'm reading here from Breitbart.com, California pro-business Latino Democrat Democrats. These are the things the Republicans are all scared of, um, Latinos being Democrats and coming here. Stop the minimum wage hike in California. So... Let's bring Rick back here. Uh, Board Op says his phone line's cleared up a little bit. Uh, so, Rick, do you have a cit- yeah. citation for your conspiracy guys? theory? Okay, well, here now here's the thing. Just like people who use the word anarchy, which is a peaceful thing, I totally believe in conspiracy, but don't use a theory thing on there. I'm not one of the theory um, people. I do believe in conspiracies. Um, when you when you put theory behind it, it makes it look like people are crazy. Well, yeah, no, it's a theory about, until um, you can prove it, right? Because, I mean, if it's if if it's unproven, well, then it's a theory. Yes. So, where's your proof? I understand your well, point. Okay. Um, yeah. I get your point, and I no. agree with you. Okay. There are conspiracies so conspiracy that I believe theory. in. Too. Okay, we got it. So, well, if um, a lot of the research I've been looking online um, with um, with. Uh, just there is a, there is a, a movement out there now. It's not a big movement, okay. And well, I'm not saying this is the only reason for for them okay. bringing Mexicans over there. And, and also, is, whoa, whoa, see all these Mexicans. Also, hold on, wait a second. This is it's the terminology that bothers me so much here. These Mexicans right. generally are coming of their own volition. No one's. I mean, the only people Absolutely. that are bringing them are coyotes, who they have been paid their, um, to bring them. And most of those coyotes are probably pretty awful right. people. When you say they're bringing them, that there's this oh, them oh, out okay. there, it makes it sound like there's some sort of puppet masters and, that are moving people. And you're around. correct. Okay. So actually, they're coming over. Realistically, um, you know, as one of the people was talking about how they should put people more towards the, the front of the border, I, I cross all the time, like twice a month, and there's 
there's tens of thousands of those U.S. border things. That instead of putting the border, um, um, you know, having them out miles and miles, he, that guy was right. They should, they should have them closer so to the border. Just to bring, just right to bring our listeners up to speed and Mark as well, uh, yeah, what I, Rick is referring to is last night on Free Talk Live, we had discussed uh, apparently the politician known as Rick Perry in Texas. Uh, he has been talking about increasing border security and, you know, pandering to people on the, on that issue recently. And, and that's what Rick is saying here on the show. He's claiming that uh, he believed that Rick Perry was correct about that, that more well, force is needed, that more soldiers. Is that right? No? Well, I mean, it's not that he's correct, but in reality, I see there's enough that they they don't have to wait for them to get all the way where they're at. They we you know we built Who's all getting the that, where? they wait for them using they a lot, and I'm not oh, really the sure if you mean the border okay, the, guards, okay. the immigrants, all right, the immigration, the immigration doesn't have to wait for them to get uh, into the states. Literally, like checkpoints and stuff like that, they can they can set up. Uh, You're saying you don't like internal hours. checkpoints, but you want checkpoints on the border. Um, well, you, you know, if you, the, well, from what I'm saying, from what he was saying, I don't, you know, I don't completely agree with the guy, but they can't stop him at the border. But realistically, they're allowing them over. Um, real, mm -hmm. We have the technology to stop them. Uh, do we and, now? Um, See, this is the, really the problem, though, is, is, look, I wouldn't doubt it at all, but here's the question, yeah. is, um, okay, so border security, obviously the black market is always going to crush government intervention, it always does every Absolutely. single time, but um, let's, let's look at this. It's bigger than drug, drug imports, when um, you, importing people is a big deal now. When you put okay. um, border guards in the way, you just give, you just increase the price of cost, crossing the border, because let me ask you this, if you were a border Border guard, and you could get away with it. Would you let somebody across for ten thousand dollars? Well, yeah, well, there's corruption everywhere. There's um, going to be the more border like guards you have, the more opportunity for corruption. But but you but it's already there. Okay. So yeah. well okay, but that, that could be a here or there. It's just well, a, it's just a thought. Yeah. Okay. I'm so just, you still I'm, haven't you know, really gonna... answered the question. You have sort of narrowed mm -hmm. down and admitted that this movement of immigrants coming to California because they believe it's uh, it's part of Mexico. This theory that you're talking well, about. Well, you said it's a small group. You admit it's a small group. Well, what percentage well, wait, do you think no, of the the, 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 the group? Wait, wait, the group. The group is. It, the group is from here. The thing is, is it's not that okay, these this people is are definitely coming for that theory. reason. It could be employers. No, it's not. Uh, okay, well, here's the thing. It's not that they're coming here for that reason. But when they are here, like any other sheep move, movement or, or any other pe people can be swayed sheep. To, to join. Did you call these people any sheep? Kind of, you understand oh, that the we, people that are coming here – thank you, Rick, for the call tonight. I appreciate it. You understand that the people who are coming here are different people. Many of them may be very, very you know, unique and uh, individualistic and not sheepish at all, sheep-like. I mean, it's, the right. sheep term is something that's used to describe non-unthinking masses, brainwashed individuals. It seems like it, these – the folks that are coming here are – People that are willing have willingly put up with a great deal of crap. Yeah, if anything, any get here. Right, if anything, I mean, these are out of the box thinkers. These are people who've thought at least out of the box so far enough to get out of their box where they were born. The you know Mexico or Guatemala. Wouldn't the sheep do what the shepherd says and fill out the paperwork and do this thing or stay where they're supposed great to stay? Point. Stay in the pen, sheep. Sheep stay in pens. Yep. Eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. You are certainly welcome to comment on immigration. I understand it's certainly a hot issue today. Of course, it's election season. It's Free Talk Live. Business owners, listen up. Give me an L. Give me another L. Give me a C. What's that spell? Incorporation. Protect. Just incorporate your business. L-L-C. If you're about to start a business, these three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why LLC.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-915-2955 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from LLC.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Incorporation, protection, success. Incorporate your business. Call now for your free guide. 1 800 915 2955. That's 1 800 915 2955. 
Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the re-emergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up what you want. We're here live on this Saturday evening. We'll take your calls about anything. That's uh, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And want to invite you to PassportsForBitcoin.com. There are a lot of reasons why some like you might want a second passport or to even go so far as renouncing citizenship. Last year was an all-time record for people renouncing U.S. citizenship, but it's done all over the world, whether it's governmental intrusion on your privacy, protest against foreign policy to protect your wealth, avoid pointless regulations, onerous taxation, or as a refuge. You might want to get a second passport or change your citizenship. Check out the St. Kitts program at PassportsForBitcoin.com. And they clearly take Bitcoin, which is yet another way that Bitcoins can offer you more freedom. PassportsForBitcoin.com. Uh, coming up, since we're on the immigration subject, it actually happened to be the number one story on our website at FreeTalkLive.com. Thanks to your votes, you can go there and vote and submit content uh, and, you know, Vote on other people's content at freetalklive.com. But the, the top story there is about immigration and about how difficult it actually can be for people to try to immigrate here, especially low-skill workers who are likely to end up on a farm somewhere. We'll give you the details on that. Dana's on the line first, though, in Grand Rapids, listening to WTKG. Hi, Dana. Dana? Hi. Hey, you're um, on the air. You know, I, yeah, can you hear me? Gotcha. Go Hello? ahead. Hello? Can you hear me? Sure do. <laughs> okay. Yes. Anyway, um... Okay. Um, I I don't say this every time I call, 
but I have said this to you guys once in a while. Just so you know, I'm not calling to beat you both up. I agree with a lot of what you say. A lot of your stuff, it, it isn't about being intellectuals. It's just common sense stuff. But some of the stuff you guys do really irritate me, and you purport to be these, these people of liberty and freedom. I get so irritated, and I realize you were coming to a hard break. You've done this to several of your callers who make good points that you don't agree with. You cut them off. As soon as that man <laughs> said the word sheep, you cut them off. That's yeah, ridiculous, and then Dana. That, that's, that's like, don't tell Dana, me that's that ridiculous. That guy was on I'm for an entire you. segment, just so you know. That's yes, hardly cutting was. someone oh, off. Oh, yes. Yes, but when you, he said sheep, that's when you cut him off, and then you make um, condescending co comments afterwards. If you want to debate him about the words he uses or any No, caller, I was done debating him at that point. I'd had, I'd, had my, calling Dana. Well, I'd had my conversation with but, him at that point, Dana. And did, was but, there something you but, wanted to talk about? Yes, he's right. Okay, uh, about you what? You need to do some research. Which Mexican people are sheep? Just, you, will you stop interrupting me? I'm asking me? you the you guys say, What you is he say right your about? Opinion a lot. Uh, Check out Teresa McDonald's work. She's worked heavily with this. She's I don't have time to do research. One. I'm asking you, Dana, so, what is it he is right about? He said okay, a lot of different things. I am, telling, I am telling you, but you're going to ask me how do I know this because you asked him the same question, uh -huh. whether it was his opinion or what. Okay, it, so what his, you're saying his, is, his, just to be, I'm not asking I'm you to cite your source, Dana. I'm asking you to tell me okay. about what it is he's right about. So are you saying that the theory that he has, that people are coming from Mexico to take over California and consider it no, Mexico? No, no, not is, that part. Okay, I don't so think, what part? I don't think they're trying to. Well, let me finish. I don't I don't know that they're trying to give it back to Mexico, but yes, they're trying to flood it. It isn't just Mexico, it's Texas and Arizona. They believe that that was part of Mexico and they don't care what the wars were, they don't care what the ter territories are, who won the wars in the past. There's another problem. In and why should they care about that? You guys you guys are what do you mean, why should they care? Which way are you saying that? Well, why should they care who won wars? Well, um, because we won. Who's we? not their property anymore. It's the <laughs> United States won. Well, if, if somebody comes property. here, if somebody comes here and buys a house, I think that, the, you know, that then becomes their property. I, like this, Actually, this sounds you very know much. Better than that. Well, th you Dana, should. this sounds very much like those people over there should stay on that line and not come over here where crap is better. And I'd like to point out that, New, Me that New Mexico's constitution is written in two different languages: the the not Western United illegally. States. Illegally, not illegally. <laughs> Nobody is debating legal immigration. Yes. No, I don't think anybody I'll has a problem that. with that. Oh, I have, a, I have a huge illegally. problem with that. I'm going to tell you guys something. On January 29th of 2014, the federal government advertised it was under, it's on the website, Federal Business Opportunities uh, for Different Types of Businesses, helping with the purported, uh, this, this, um, this influx that they were expecting. Now, how did our federal government know at tens of thousands, and by the way, they're telling you 50,000, some are saying 60, it's a quarter of a million that have flooded over just since October. How bum, back bum, on January bum. 29th did our federal government know and, and no offer— what? Uh, Well, these, that, that a bunch of uh, the young people were going to be coming here. Well, because yeah. Sounds like a conspiracy how theory to me. That back on January 29th, and I want to know how many of these have you guys taken in? You know, it's real easy to huh? sit up there and live and move to the uh, northeast, <laughs> where you're removed from all of this. But all uh, of there's plenty people of Hispanic people in Boston, by the way, just so you know. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Uh, you're in Boston. No, I'm I not. I thought you guys were in. New 
All I, right. Then I'm, why are you talking and referencing Boston? Well, you said the Northeast. Boston isn't that far away from Keene, New Hampshire. Okay. Well, I'm not talking about that. I said specifically where you guys live. Okay. You went up there so you can be free, but but you don't worry about all the rest of us that have to deal with Why this should stuff. I be worried about dealing with what? I want people from other countries right. to come to New Hampshire. You I said want that people we should from take all over people, the world here. You, we should, you said we should take I people in. I want them to come legally, you guys. I want them to come. Look, I don't want them to come (laughs) legally and and then suck off of the welfare programs. I want the welfare programs cut. I want the welfare programs cut. Who just said that? With Mark? Yes, that's me. And then the free people should be able to cross borders of free countries. Otherwise, you don't have free people or free countries. Okay. Then I agree with you on that. I agree because I want to tell you guys something. I worked on the inside, so this is where I'm getting some of my information besides quoting Teresa McDonald. DHS, after uh, Obama became president, DHS, now you explain this to me. This is why I get mad with you guys when you're talking about open borders. DHS was passing pamphlets out. To these illegal aliens. <laughs> I love how you Obama yell illegal as though it's like that makes it more because important because so it's illegal. Angry. Look, why should I have uh, so why should I want anyone to jump through a bunch of bureaucratic I'm not hoops? Yelling. <laughs> I'm not I'm not yelling, I'm stressing. They were passing out pamphlets <laughs> to illegals on how to get benefits. Hey now, Dana, I bet you're an me? illegal too. How do they, I bet you I bet you're an illegal. How do they get government benefits? Am I right, Am I right Dana? I, and I don't support government benefits at all. I don't really care about that. I, I, I bet you're out. an illegal, though, aren't you? That's what people are so mad aren't about. You? Is because just admit it. Getting all these just, benefits. just admit it. You yourself are an illegal. Isn't and who it true? Is this thinking to me? Isn't it who true, is Dana? This? Come on. You've sped who is before, this haven't you? To me? Haven't you sped? I asked you a question. What is your name? I'm Ian, and that's Mark over there, and this is Free Talk Live. Thanks for the call tonight. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You're all illegals. I think it's important to point out that we are not for government programs that uh, draw people in here that don't want to work. I'd also like to point out I am proud to be an illegal. There's more coming up here. This is Free Talk Live. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. Good people need help. The Homeowners Association said we had weeds and fined us $25. We told them they had the wrong house. They said if we didn't pay it, they'd file a lien. Our attorney demanded photographs, witnesses, and told them if they couldn't provide this, they must cease and desist. Issue solved. Worry less and live more with LSProtection.com. That's LSProtection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. There is no such thing as attention span, according to Jerry Seinfeld, who figures that people have an infinite attention span if you are entertaining them. Hey, he's kept us from channel surfing for several decades, and now he's making more millions as a Las Vegas headliner. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important, especially if you're looking for work. So choose every single word as though it was the last word the person you're speaking to will hear. Otherwise, it might be. Avoid redundancies such as added bonus, advance warning, end result, prior history, or personal belongings. And avoid cliches like the plague. Just kidding. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. 
Visit LibertyOnTheRocks.org today to get started. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. They're the mafia. They function like the mafia. They think like the mafia. They hire people who think like the mafia. The only difference is they put on a front that there's something legitimate and legal and valid about all of it. Well, there's no Don um, in this particular mafia. The Don is uh, the, the majority of people who went out and voted and then put you know their, their new Don in place. And the, sometimes the Dons change and sometimes they don't. Incumbents are very difficult to unseat. And, and, you know, they're, they're, but their henchmen stay in place the whole time. It, it, it's, it's, it's quite a sophisticated mob operation that they have. It is. Well, it's the have. mafia that is so successful and that has so brilliantly pulled the wool over people's eyes that they've actually gotten people to give them their children so the mafia can educate them into believing that they need the mafia. Right. We have free indoctrination camps. I mean, schools <laughs> for you to send your kids to. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. <laughs> This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Or connect with us on Skype, which, of course, if you've got a semi-decent microphone, is going to make you sound better than you would sound on the phone. And if you are international, as our next caller will be, uh, you call us for free. Because sometimes, you know, the toll-free number doesn't work if you are in, say, Cameroon, Africa, which is where we'll be going next. Uh, you don't have to talk about immigration. That happens to be the topic on the table at the moment. Uh, a lot of people get really upset when someone advocates that people should be free to cross borders, you know, as long as they're not harming anybody, as long as they're not a, an imminent threat uh, to other human beings, then you know, as long as they've got a place to go, a place to stay, and they've got something they're willing to do for another person, then, you know, get some work, they should be here, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, hopefully they're peaceful. That's the idea. But I'm not willing to have a police state. I'm not willing to have a group of uh, cops out there demanding to know my identification, where I'm going, where I'm coming from, demanding to know where I was born. I don't want to have to give that information. That does not make me feel more free. And that's the world that the people who want to control immigration will end up creating if they get their way. Right. It's the natural result of you know immigration crackdowns is your papers please if that's where you want to live and that's the country you want to live in i don't want to be in the same place uh, as you so um studies show that one in five students use uh, the cognitive enhancer modafinil or from modup.net offering multiple benefits including a double digit increase in short-term memory fighting off fatigue and uh, greater focus overall so that you can get things done Businessmen around the world continue to talk about how Modafinil from ModUp.net is making the difference in their work, giving them that critical edge uh, that they need. They make it affordable for everyone to take advantage of the benefits of Modafinil by being 80 to 85 percent lower than the brand name. But don't mistake low prices for inferior quality. They ensure that purity and potency is consistent to that of the branded version. Remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio program, and ModUp.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know of your local prescription requirements and whether the laws apply and whatever. ModUp.net is a supporter of the Bitcoin community, and you can order from ModUp.net with Bitcoin and get a 33% discount. And uh, to make the deal even sweeter, use code FTL and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order. So use coupon code FTL. Um, check, Look into it for yourself, but we're sure that you'll find that ModUp.net offers world-class service at a great price. It's ModUp.net, coupon code FTL to get those 10 free tablets. 
I think you misspoke uh, there. I don't think it's one in five students is using modafinil from yes. modup.net. No, not from them. Right? Uh, I, they're I, using modafinil, and I think modup is one of the worldwide providers of modafinil, and they're uh, looking to get your business if you are <laughs> you know, somebody who's interested in, yes. uh, in that sort of thing. So, yeah, check them out. Let's continue here and go way overseas to Cameroon. At least that's where I presume he is. He is Akko. Hello, Akko. Are you with us? Yeah, hello, Ian. Hello, you're on with uh, Ian and Mark on Free Talk Live. What time is it in Cameroon? Is it past? It's past midnight, correct? Oh, uh, it is uh, uh, 36 minutes past midnight. Well, uh, well, welcome to uh, to Free Talk Live. I found out about you and uh, you know what what you're doing down there in Cameroon through uh, Michael Dean on the Freedom Fiends, another great uh, talk radio program on LRN.FM. And it turns out you're one of our satellite radio listeners, uh, which is really awesome. Uh, and you've told me off the air that there are a number of people in Cameroon, your friends and others, who uh, who have these free to air satellite receivers. And they're listening to LRN.FM and Free Talk Live and other great liberty-oriented shows. How did you come across us? Yeah, it was like 10 months ago. I installed my very little uh, satellite receiver. And I just started receiving your signal on the radio side of my decoder. And that was all. And you started you listening. Know, the Go ahead. You, from the beginning, it was difficult for me to really get what you were saying because you know Liberty Radio Network is not like the mainstream media. When you hear where, where you hear things that uh, are out there for the for the for the society to consume, mm-hmm. but Liberty Radio Network is a kind of broadcaster which which seeks to bring out the truth, the really inner truth of what is happening across not only uh, the United States but the whole world. Yeah, I love it that you're out there uh, tuning in all the way halfway across the world in uh, Cameroon. I, of course, had to consult a map to uh, to know exactly where it was. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's in the uh, mid- middle the of... Moment, uh, go ahead. For the moment, I've introduced more than 50 of my friends to Liberty Radio Network. And I think that we are going to uh, form a community here based on this particular radio. Because the information that you are giving here is not only changing people's life, it is also impacting their life and their thoughts and many ideas that they have about liberty. I love this. Um, I was listening to your interview that uh, Michael Dean did over on Freedom Fiends, and he was talking, or you were talking about how it's very common for people uh, in Cameroon to think of, a, of Americans in a certain way, and that LRN has changed that. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, you know, when they talk about the United States, we used to think that it is a role model for democracy, uh, for fight for justice, you know, freedom of all its kind. But we <laughs> didn't know that there were also stories behind it, like what we are getting now from the Liberty Radio Network. Yeah, so, you know, like, for instance, you had heard that uh, the United States was this bastion of freedom, but then here we are talking about the police state and how, you know, the police are uh, are oppressing people here. I'm sure it's not quite as bad here as it might be in Cameroon. What sort of, what is life like in uh, Cameroon? I mean, it's easy to go and look at the yeah, CIA World yeah, Factbook. It's, but... it's, it's complete hell. Oh, my God. Okay, just for example, today I've been to hell and I just came back. I was traveling from the border to, uh, to 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 one of our regional headquarters that is from Kuseri to Marwa. Uh, that Kuseri that Kuseri area has been the area where Boko Haram. Have you heard about the Boko Haram? Uh, yeah, that uh, actually did hit the mainstream media over here. The the Boko Haram yes. with the kidnappings. That Kuseri is just a border border between Cameroon and Nigeria. I went to visit family in Chad. Upon coming back, I'm just reaching out right now, just some few minutes back before I even tune into your to your show. We traveled for more than 14 hours. And do you know what took us so long? It was because of the policing on the road. These people are not there to do their work. They will bring us out of the car, search our bags, search us, and the right work that they have to do, they don't do it. The right thing for them to do is to go and secure the border where Boko Haram and other militant militant or other insurgent group are, are, are smuggling the weapons. So let but me just go, Akko, us. let me make sure uh, Akko, let me make sure I'm clear on this. So you're at the border of Chad and Cameroon, and the yeah. police there are searching you. And are they are they using Boko Haram as their excuse for the searches? Can you imagine that is the case here? Mm-hmm. Oh. For, for a journey of, of, of less than 221 uh, kilometers, it took us 14 hours. Ian, can you imagine that? And all, How many all times were you stopped? Was, How many times along that, that journey? We were, stopped, we were stopped more than 18 times. God. 
<laughs> Can you imagine? We took off. We took off at Kuseri at 8 a.m. We arrived here at 12 midnight. Can you imagine? It's crazy. So the, the police situation, the police harassment, the br police brutality is not only there in your own country. We are witnessing it here. And what is what is driving me crazy and all Cameroonians is the fact that you may not have documents. You may be you may be you may be passing through this country illegally. But if you have uh, 1,000 francs, which is equivalent to two dollars, as soon as you give it to the policeman, they, you, you make your way. Even if that's you're so funny. I was just one. talking with a friend of mine who is, is actually a Free State Project participant who has spent. He actually told me last night he spent about four months of his life in uh, Kenya, and that's on the other side of Africa from from where you are on the uh, the east side of Central Africa, and okay, he talked uh, about the bribing of the uh, the border guards there, that uh, apparently you say something like, you uh, you want to buy them some tea, you give them $5, and then you can get in without showing any sort of identification or something like that. Yeah, Ian, in Cameroon, you don't even have to give up to $5. <laughs> you, you, you can give $1, $2, the policeman will take it and allow you to go into the country without searching... It's just what a toll. <laughs> or illegal weapons that you may be carrying. Yeah. That's why Boko Haram has been operating in Cameroon. That's why they have been carrying out attacks in Cameroon, because the guys do not address the particular problem, which is securing the border. They come and harass all the civilians, people who are innocent, people who Akko, do not Akko, can you hang on uh, for me? I want to bring you back here in a moment. Uh, can you hang with us? Yeah. Yeah, right, I'm, hang I'm on. I know it's late there, and I appreciate that. More with Echo in uh, Cameroon, Africa, giving you a little taste of what things are like, uh, which you might not quite be used to. 18 times on one journey they were stopped. More coming up. This is Free Talk Live. One little joint supplement. You know this powerful little pill is great for your joints. It even has powerful benefits to help increase your mobility and flexibility. But the joint supplements of today are sadly incomplete because they don't give you the joint relief you're looking for. Until now. Introducing the complimentary two-week sample of Instaflex, our most powerful joint formula ever. It's the number one selling joint supplement at GNC. The only thing our complimentary sample of Instaflex is missing is the price. Because right now, we're offering adults a complimentary two-week sample as part of a nationwide giveaway. Call and claim your sample today. 1-800-608-9424. Instaflex provides powerful, effective joint relief for your knees, hands, even your hips. Prove it to yourself by calling now for your complimentary sample. Instaflex is available at GNC, Walgreens, and CVS. But you can only get your complimentary two-week sample by calling 1-800-608-9424. Call now for your two-week Instaflex sample. 1-800-608-9424. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Did you agree? Did you totally agree? I'll bet that you did. But did you read the agreement? There are 7 billion people on Earth, and there are over 6 billion active cell phone accounts right now. And every one of them came with an agreement. Billions have already agreed to allow entities that they do not know to use and abuse every feature of their mobile devices. Your computer activity is monitored and archived. Your car is tracked and even your face is scanned. The current power structure grows more fearful every day of your desire for anonymity, independence, free association, freedom of movement, freedom of expression, and your freedom of thought. And entire categories of humans will be targeted. And if they then those that won't leave us alone determine that we are not within their control, then we will be categorized as out of control. FreedomsPhoenix.com will launch the next phase of the Levolution by the end of the summer of 2014. And if you have to tell your neighbors about it, then we did it wrong. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com you can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free. This is Free Talk Live. Take control toll free here, the live Saturday edition. Immigration happens to be on the table tonight. We've actually got a call on the line from Cameroon, Africa. And uh, we'll take your calls about anything. It's easy to call from international places. If you've got Skype, you can Skype into us at username lrn.fm. And, of course, we'll continue here with your calls in moments. Yeah, we're giving away some uh, hardcover books. And it's uh, one of them is uh, 1636, the uh, Commander Cantrell in the West Indies. And the other one is Rescue Mode by Ben Bova. Both of these are from Bain Publishers. And there's, it's a great opportunity to get, uh, you know, have your opportunity to win one of these free hardcover books. Now, you can, I'm going to give you the instructions right here on the radio, and you're probably going to need a pencil to do this <laughs> or a pen or something like that. But you can go to our Facebook page at facebook.freetalklive.com. I have penned these contests to the top, and you can uh, go check it out there. It's a little easier. But what you've got to do is you've got to text some keywords to a particular number. The number is 366-948. That's 366-948. And what the what you have to, to text there is, uh, in one case for the one book, is 1636. That's the title of the book, 1636. And the other one is Rescue. So if you t uh, text 1636 or and or Rescue to... 366948, you will be entered to win, and the drawing will be done randomly by the little computer system. I'll never even have to worry about it. I just have to get the winners there, their, you know, get their address and have it shipped to them. Fantastic. And you're putting details about that on our, uh, that's details about that have been on our Facebook page. They right? are on our Facebook page. They've been on our Facebook page. By the way, it'll be Tuesday and Wednesday of next week is when we do the drawings at noon. Facebook.freetalklive.com. And we'll continue here with ACCO and then take your calls at 855-450-FREE. It's not often you get a phone call from Cameroon, Africa. In fact, it's the first time it's ever happened here on Free Talk Live, in this case uh, coming from Skype. Akko, thanks for hanging on. I know it's uh, it's late there, past midnight where you are. Yeah. Thank um, you, Ian. I'm happy to be on the show. But I want to hold your feet to the flames a little bit here, uh, Akko. Mark said to me during the break that you had said you wanted border enforcement there, and that's kind of the, the topic we've been discussing here tonight. And is that true? Did he understand you correctly? Yeah, what, what I was trying to say here is to secure the border, not to pass to, to smuggle arms and kill innocent people through militancy or insurgency. But if people want to flow to Cameroon from Nigeria, from Chad and other neighboring countries if, if, if peacefully without causing any crimes on Cameroonians, I think they are free. The human beings are not to be restricted. We are not animals. We all know our right. Well, then don't you think that there shouldn't be uh, border controls in that, you know, when you give the government or you have the government handling this thing, this idea of keeping people in or keeping people uh, out, you know, whichever way it's going to work, it usually works both ways uh, with borders. When you've got these government agents, it's inevitable that it's going to be corrupt. I mean, there in Cameroon, you can pay $2 and you can waltz across the border without any sort of check of an identification or checking your bags for guns and, you know, bodies or whatever. And that's what you were saying earlier, as I understood it, was that the, uh, the, the group Boko Haram has, you know, they're criminals, so they've got more money than the average person. The average person in Cameroon, two dollars is a lot of money. And they've got, and, but they've got guns uh, that are too big to hide. What, do you know what we? Do you know what we can't say? 
with certainty how Boko Haram is operating. We have we have three countries here involved. We have Cameroon, we have Nigeria, we have Chad. All of these weapons are flowing through the various borders of those countries, but they can't even account for how those weapons are, are being smuggled. But yet they keep harassing people, asking for documents and taking money. Well, that's here just and it. There without doing that's just job. it. I mean, you've got, you've got, uh, you said you were harassed. You were taken out of your car, searched, papers demanded 18 times on a 200, what was it, 200 kilometer? Uh, journey 221 kilometers 20 kilometer that's a lot of uh, stops and checkpoints and so the point that i'm making here is that you know because people want border security they end up with a police state you guys are seeing it in spades there so the idea that i'd like to promote is letting go of the desire to control the border and instead just try to you know control who you associate with and uh, hopefully I think, I think i think my thought here is that if the police or the immigration officers are here to, to to secure the border for for, for 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 reasons of security and 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 to fight against insurgency and militancy it will be a very good job it, it will secure human lives it will secure very innocent people and make our country to be prosperous but if the police guys are there to take money and harass people up and down for documents that are not even supposed to be asked then i think they are failing in their calling. That's what they're always that's what they always do though. I mean there's always the mission, right, to stop the border from being you know permeated and then there's the reality which is that corruption is is there, all of the incentives are there for those people to be corrupt. Um, even if you pay them more, because that's usually one of the, at least here in the United yeah. States, they'll claim, well, you need to give those guys two hundred thousand dollars a year because they might be making fifty now or something like that. Uh, that doesn't work either because then you know the money that comes from the drug gangs or the coyotes are it's still money, it's still good money, it's still tax free money, it's still money that they can spend on things and it's still attractive to them. So nothing ever works to control, and that's you know one of the ideas that I like to promote here on this show is allowing others to be free, even though the idea of somebody scary coming into the country is a is a rationale for people to support border enforcement. What they're actually supporting, of course, is something that's ultimately worse, something that en enslaves you. It turns around on you and enslaves you. Right. Well, I mean, government would be great if government wasn't corrupt. But sadly, um, even I would say the United States government far less corrupt than many, many of the governments around the world. I'm grateful I don't get stopped 18 times on the way to go uh, visit some yeah, friends. Mark. Let me let me let me just let me just chip in. Yeah, your government is somehow we can say no government is perfect, but I think your government is far more better than what we have here. What we have here is just a group of individuals who are just there to rip money for themselves. To they use it's the their same offices, thing here. It's the same thing. The difference, uh, Echo, <laughs> is that. Is they're more subtle about it here. They're sneakier. They uh, they man you know they manage to cover up their violence more effectively than in in other countries of the world. I, re I really appreciate you calling and staying up with us here tonight. Thanks for listening uh, tonight and thanks for the call, Echo. That's Echo from Cameroon, Africa, where people are receiving our show through uh, free to air satellite transmissions. They're apparently very very popular to have these satellite dishes. They're very when cool you stuff. say that the United States is as corrupt as Cameroon. I'm going to try to figure out what you mean when you say that, because I don't believe this for a second. Not even it's, it, it pales in comparison. Well, wait, did I say that? Uh, yes, you said that it's the same. It's the same, the same idea of corruption. It's still there. He said it's better, and it certainly is. As I said, I didn't get stopped 18 times coming here, but the people who are corrupt here are more subtle about it. They're sneakier. They have business deals that are behind the scenes. They're making more money. I mean, in Cameroon, if you're a border guard, you can be paid off for two U.S. dollars, here you're going to have to pay a lot more. The, so the, the bureaucrats that are on the take are taking more. They have more power here because there's more money in the economy to siphon off. And the people in the United States are so blinded uh, by the mainstream media and blinded by the, you know, the government education system out there into thinking that the U.S. government isn't corrupt. Well, so I think it's that, more hidden. I think that much of the graft that goes on is really just fees built into the system and that there are far more people working for the government in the United States that just want to do their job they don't want to do they're not doing it as a as an entrepreneurial kind of endeavor there are far fewer of those people and if they are corrupt in that sense in the payoff sense that they're much more likely to get 
turned in by I'd their rather coworkers. have a situation where I can pay $2 to make a police officer go away. I have heard people say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your thoughts are welcome. Let's go to Steve. He's in Virginia Beach listening to WNIS. Hey, Steve. Welcome from the great state of Virginia. Thanks. Go ahead. Uh, uh, we, we, we're going to definitely be talking about this immigration situation when we have a very bad problem with it. And what I mean by very bad problem, we have a circle, a vicious circle going on right now where it's better not to work. The 6.1% unemployment rate right now is way out of tune. It's closer to 12. We have more people that can sit out there and collect money from the government than what than than they can by working. Now we have an open border, which we need a closed border in the United States, a country defined by borders, language, and culture. Oh, that's that's now, nonsense. Borders, language, well, that's culture. Not nonsense. Then if it, exactly hold on. Right. If the country is defined by borders, language, and culture, why is the Constitution of New Mexico written in Spanish? What's wrong with that being written in Spanish? I'm Nothing. asking you. I'm telling you that I don't think this whole it's borders probably written language. It's in Japanese, too. What's that? No. No, no. <laughs> uh, you're, you're misunderstanding kind of me. Language. You're, you're misunderstanding me. When now the Constitution— oh, It's hard to understand someone when about. you're talking over them. When the Constitution right. of New Mexico yep. was written, it was written in two languages at once, signed in two languages at once, because the people of New Mexico That's, acknowledged so the Mexico that there were two. The people of New Mexico acknowledged that there were two languages spoken in their state. All right, hold on, uh, Steve. Hang on. I want to bring you through the news here, if you don't mind. We'll we'll bring him back here in hour number two. Give him a chance to respond. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Immigration certainly on the table here. Also, we can talk about nursing in public and whatever's on your mind it's free talk live kid if something in this facility breaks bends or bursts granger's got our back 20 cases of disc springs from granger.com new rotary encoder ordered on granger's mobile app a dozen splash goggles from the local granger branch what more could you want in life granger has over 1 million products for all our facilities needs 1 million that's a one followed by six zeros kid everything we need whenever we need it get it got it good call Click Granger.com or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. I'm Chuck Woolery. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I really don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream. It's an arthritis pain relief cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn. It isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee, so you can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back but I doubt that you'll send it back. You know, the stuff really works. Get Australian Dream at Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. You'll be glad you did. Did you know coffee is the second most absorbent crop on Earth? Most coffee at grocery stores or in chains contains banned pesticides and has a high mold content. Seriously, we're proud to partner with Comano Island Coffee Roasters to provide the best of the best coffee, BuzzBox Coffee. Try a free pound today. You cover shipping. 10% of future purchases benefit our efforts to give the gift of human freedom throughout the world. At least 100 World Vision microfinance loans. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, July 11th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,338, silver opened at $2,145, and Bitcoin is trading at $628. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from growyourowngroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines that you can grow or easily find. Learn more at growyourowngroceries.org. And support comes from Bitmain Tech, creators of the newly released Antminer S2 Bitcoin Miner. One tera hash and only 1,000 watts. Order yours online today at bitmaintech.com or call them up 844-BITMAIN. 
That's 844-248-6246. In the news, on Wednesday, the alleged creator of the online marketplace Silk Road was denied his bid for dismissal of a federal indictment, which accuses him of laundering money and being involved with illegal drug trade. Ross Ulbricht denied charges of money laundering, stating that bitcoins are not money. U.S. District Judge Catherine Forrest disagreed, stating that money could be laundered using the online cryptocurrency. Judge Forrest said Ulbricht played the role of intermediary between website users, acting as a sort of godfather. Ulbricht is facing four counts of conspiracy, including engaging in a continuing criminal enterprise, which carries a maximum sentence of life behind bars. The trial is scheduled to begin November 3rd. A study by the Crime Prevention Research Center found that a little over 11 million Americans now have permits to carry concealed weapons, up from 4.5 million in 2007. According to the report, violent crime rates dropped by 22% while permits to carry rose 146%. Increasing gun ownership, litigation, and new state laws have all contributed to the rise in concealed carry permits, reported KSAZ. Currently, Florida has the most active concealed carry permits, with Texas coming in second. Wichita Falls, Texas has become the second city in the state to recycle treated wastewater to help bolster drinking supplies, according to CBS News. Located near the Oklahoma border, the city began reusing millions of gallons of water at the River Road Waste Treatment Plant that has been purified to meet government standards. The recycled water is sent through a 12-mile pipeline into the Cypress Water Treatment Plant where it receives additional purification. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from affordable sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Mention promo code LIBERTY, and when you order 10 or more posters, you get 10 free. Online at affordablesound.com, or call them up, 512-459-5253. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, July 11th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Former NSA contractor Edward Snowden officially filed a petition to extend his asylum in Russia for another year, as reported by the Russian Times. The Federal Migration Service is responsible for deciding whether Snowden will be allowed to stay, but has not yet commented on the application. While Snowden has planned to take asylum in Cuba, he ended up in Moscow on the evening of June 24, 2013, from Hong Kong, after he was unable to make his destination without being apprehended by U.S. authorities. The whistleblower told NBC in an interview that he would like to return to America if it were an option, but is afraid he would be unfairly convicted of espionage. Former New Orleans Mayor Ray Nagin was sentenced Wednesday to 10 years in prison for bribery, money laundering, and other corruption during his two terms as mayor which included the chaotic years following the Hurricane Katrina disaster of 2005. Nagin was convicted of accepting hundreds of thousands of dollars from businessmen who wanted work from the city or the mayor's support for various projects. Among the bribes, Nagin accepted free vacations, cash, and truckloads of free granite for his family business. The former mayor is required to report to federal prison in Oakdale, Louisiana in September. The U.S. Department of Agriculture granted a special permit allowing Australian researchers to transport genetically modified bananas to the Midwestern state of Iowa. Scientists in Brisbane genetically altered the bananas to contain more beta-carotene, which converts to vitamin A, and are paying volunteers in Iowa $900 each to test whether or not they work. The bananas, commonly used for cooking in Africa, are intended for the people of Uganda to help solve vitamin A deficiency in the country. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 o'clock Central Time at CoreyMooreShow.com. And support comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Inc., precious metals at reasonable rates since 1977, online at rrbi.co. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, July 11, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Following reports of a newly posted job listing at area marketing firm Swenson Digital, The Onion spoke to a few of the 1,400 applicants who claim they are, quote, absolutely perfect for this position. When I first saw this opening, I knew it was right for me. I've got tons of experience. I've got all the skills they're looking for. If you look at my resume, I've got everything they're looking for. I mean, I've held similar jobs like this in the past. I'm extremely driven. I really think this is going to work out. I've got a BA in marketing, which the posting said was recommended, so I think that'll bode really well for me. I've had plenty of team experience, and I think that would stand out, not to mention the fact that I'm great with web design and HTML, and pretty proficient with Excel and PowerPoint. Also, I think the culture is very me, you know. I think I'd fit in well with the other employees. I also think I had a great resume and cover letter. 
I think as soon as they interview me, they'll see I'm the perfect candidate. As of this video's release, Swenson Digital had extended a job offer to an applicant who happens to be a friend of the boss's son. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Live Saturday edition of the program. Immigration happens to be on the table uh, for discussion tonight, but if it's not on the table, you can put it on the table. Whatever it is you want to talk about goes. Just dial in to the Pro XPN toll-free line at 855-450-FREE or join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. You do need to send a contact request before you call on Skype, and then once you get a Approved to be a contact. You'll be good to go from that point forward. Steve is still with us listening, and thanks for holding on, Steve. I appreciate that. Uh, you're listening to WNIS in Virginia Beach. You sound like a big fan of uh, border enforcement. You said you want the border to be enforced. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but was that what you were kind of getting out earlier? I'm a, I'm, I want my country to be safe. Now, we have from... 30% of the people in prisons right now are illegal immigrants. We have gangs from one end of the United States to the other. Does that sound like that's safe to you? I don't know about your percentage of uh, people who are um, in prison. I couldn't couldn't speak to that. Well, um, why don't you go check it out? There well, you go. You I should can, know those things. That's why, why that's should, your job, ain't well, it? No, I don't think it is my <laughs> job to know whatever it is that you call in about, whatever percentage. But I can tell you when I spent nine years in prison, 30% of the people there were not illegal immigrants. Well, what state were you in? New, New Hampshire? Nope. Florida. How's that one? How's that one? Well, you probably had more Cubans there than you had probably Americans. There were a lot of Cubans, but they weren't here illegally. They were uh, they get asylum. Well, what's See, your point? There's, here's, oh, there's, asylum. here's what I want to ask you. There's there's an end what's result. The there's an end result to border what's enforcement, my point right? Is, but you know, we we got too much social engineering going on around here. What, well, you're the one who wants culture language, culture, and border. Isn't culture social engineering? I want border, language, and culture. I right. want my <laughs> isn't, I want the United States to have a state. Isn't culture now, minute, social now. engineering? Y'all, y'all. Isn't culture, isn't social, culture engineering? social engineering? Yes, isn't culture social engineering? You can have a limited culture social engineering. Limited, limited, limited in everything we get in this country. Very limited. Because we don't have the jobs now we have people too many people sitting on their hands now oh i i agree with you there's a there's a huge problem when it comes to uh you know welfare in this country that's not what i'm talking about i think that uh you, you know, don't believe you don't build a police state to solve a welfare problem right <laughs> i mean isn't that what you're asking for steve if you want border enforcement no, don't I you do, want a total police state? police state police state i just said i want to be protected what do you want some nut coming across here and uh Lighting off a, some type of bomb everywhere. I'd rather have my around. freedom than to have myself protected to death by these cops and their checkpoints. Thank you. There's 10 million and, illegal and immigrants. Wait a second, Virginia. Steve. 10 million illegal immigrants, maybe 20 hey, million hey, in this hey. country. How are they going to stop one guy with a bomb? How are they going to stop one guy with a bomb? Well, we don't need to. We have to have the border closed. Well, what does border <laughs> closed mean? What if I want to go over to Canada? Yeah, to, to, let's, the, Steve, I want you to paint your picture. You, you say you want hey. the border closed. Tell me what that means. What does it look like in reality to have the border closed? What does that look like in reality? Yeah. Is to have security there. People that with guns? That protects our country. Having people... Give me specifics. I mean, are we talking about a wall? How How tall is the wall? How how wide is the moat? How many gators in the moat? 60,000 murders in Mexico. Didn't they just have that right along the border Steve, there? Steve, uh, you missed the question. We're talking Coming about, your, we're talking about your enforcement mechanism right now. Because let's just accept all of the statistics you're saying. It's all true. The you know Mexicans are destroying everything in the United States. Must be stopped. Okay, so we've accepted well, we all that. Now, Steve, I want you to paint your picture for me. Steve. 
Steve, hey, you can't yell. It doesn't help. We can just turn violence. you down if necessary. Oh, I'll tell you what. That's what I'm going to do here. Steve, I want to get your vision. Be specific. You said you want people on the border. Is, is, do you want a human chain? Would you like a wall, perhaps, in some intervals? Moats. Perhaps along the whole thing? A moat? So what is it going to look like? If Steve, if you were put in charge tomorrow, what would you do differently? You're back on. Hello, am I back on now? Did you hear the question I asked you? Hello? No, it kind of went fizzy for a second okay. there. The question I asked you is what would you do if you were in charge with the border? What would what changes would you make? What would you want to see happen? What would I want to see happen? Yeah. I know we have cameras. I know we have chains. I know we have equipment that can keep people out. We can have a, a, a an order. An order to the people coming in the United States, not millions running across the border. An order? You want loudspeakers? I mean, what An are you order, going to do to right. keep people out? No order. I, look, but what I understand. They to do you they kept people out? look, you're what you're they say, you're blowing out candles. Steve, you're blowing out candles on your immigration they birthday they cake and making wishes. Said, right? Stop wishing and tell me what you could do. Because currently they're doing randomized um, checks within 100 miles of the border. They pull people over. They say, give me your papers. Tell me where you're from. They bother people on their way to work. Some of them, some of these things are randomized. Some of them are put in place. They, they bug people at the border. They do all kinds of things. And what you're saying is, I wish government bureaucracy wasn't incompetent. And I'm sorry, 9,000 years well, of the state proves government bureaucracy is incompetent. He's can still talking. Go to the moon? <laughs> Thanks for the call, Steve. Yeah. I, I put him on hold during most of that because he just keeps talking. I, we, you can't get a straight out, no, answer out no, of him. No, the fact that NASA could put somebody on the moon does not prove that the United States can somehow <laughs> prevent people from coming across the border. And if they could, if the United States government, if Washington, D.C. could somehow figure out how to do it, they would then take your freedom in the process. Because once they do it, they're going to have to stop people running around in cars. They're going to have to do house-to-house -house checks. When you ask for border enforcement, you are destroying the very freedom that this country was founded upon. It's true. Yeah. If you want the border enforced, you hate freedom. Let's go to Jim listening in Delaware uh, to WILM in Wilmington. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Right. Hey, Jim. Listen, um, how do you uh, consider yourself, I mean, your state? New Hampshire free just because of what it says on your license plate? Oh, no, that's just a silly slogan. Unfortunately, they don't take it seriously. New Hampshire isn't a free place, but it is one of the more free places. If you compare it to other states in the United States or against the rest of the world, New Hampshire is one of the most free places in the whole Three world. Three times out of the five times it's been rated, yeah, rated by the Mercatus Center, it's come out number one. Yeah, I, I took a visit there and in November 1977, I was at uh, Dartmouth. It was nice. I, I had to stay in my car. I mean, uh, I didn't have money to stay in a motel or whatever. Me and my friend just stayed in our car. I liked that college town, at least back then. It's a beautiful place. But anyway. Go ahead. Yeah. Listen, um, did New Hampshire freely accept Obama's stimulus package? I'm sure that there were some things that were built um, in New Hampshire, but there is no income tax, there's I'm no not, sales tax, minute, and there's wait no— minute, Wait a minute, wait a minute, you misunderstood me. No, I, I said, did. I asked the question. Yes, Obama... you, asked me, you asked me if New Hampshire, and I assume you're talking about the government of New Hampshire, not the dirt, um, accepted— <laughs> um, uh, accepted any of the stimulus package that came from Washington, D.C., and the answer is yes. I suspect they did. I doubt if you're a free state then. Just I, like here didn't in Delaware. we say that we aren't a it's free a state? It's a project. It's <laughs> oh, the free okay, state right. project, meaning there's something to do. There's a lot of work to be done in order to have a free state, which, of course, you could also argue free state's an oxymoron. It is a oxymoron. The idea is a state cannot okay. possibly be free. <laughs> Down here in Delaware, it's becoming a, a, a police state from the governor on down. Thanks for the call tonight, Jim. I appreciate that. And that's one of the reasons why uh, I left Florida, because things were getting worse there, not better. There was no chance for the libertarians to get a foothold in any election, except for maybe Soil and Water Cons uh, Conservation Board. Well, I think they won that one. This once. is the complaint about pe from people all across the country, is that this country is becoming less and less free. And I think it's demonstrable since 9-11. Um, but nobody wants to do anything about it. Everybody wants to complain about it. And mm. when they do have a solution, their solution is more government. That's the opposite of freedom.
Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can join us here to bring up whatever happens to be on your mind on this live Saturday edition of the program. And don't forget, we've got Skype. Skype into the show, username lrn.fm. Just send along your contact request. It will be approved here as soon as we eyeball it. Toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. Talk immigration or whatever's on your mind here on the live Saturday Free Talk Live. One little joint supplement. You know this powerful little pill is great for your joints. It even has powerful benefits to help increase your mobility and flexibility. But the joint supplements of today are sadly incomplete because they don't give you the joint relief you're looking for. Until now. Introducing the complimentary two-week sample of Instaflex, our most powerful joint formula ever. It's the number one selling joint supplement at GNC. The only thing our complimentary sample of Instaflex is missing is the price. Because right now, we're offering adults a complimentary two-week sample as part of a nationwide giveaway. Call and claim your sample today. 1-800-608-9424. Instaflex provides powerful, effective joint relief for your knees, hands, even your hips. Prove it to yourself by calling now for your complimentary sample. Instaflex is available at GNC, Walgreens, and CVS. But you can only get your complimentary two-week sample by calling 1-800-608-9424. Call now for your two-week Instaflex sample. 1-800-608-9424. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-57-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Do you need access to money? Do you need cash today? If you are receiving a structured settlement due to a lawsuit, or you are receiving pension payments over a long period of time, the Money Settlement Hotline can get you instant funding now. With your cash today, you can pay off credit card debt, pay medical bills, fund your education, or improve your home. You don't need to wait. It's true. If you're receiving a structured settlement or pension payment spread out over time and you want a lump sum amount immediately, then you need to call now. They will turn your long-term structured settlement or pension payments into a lump sum larger cash payout, so you'll get all of your money instantly. If you have a structured settlement or pension and you want cash today, call the Money Settlement Hotline right now. 888-785-0616. 888-785-0616. That's 888-785-0616. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm.
Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here. The live Saturday edition where you may bring up anything that you want. It's that way seven nights a week here on Free Talk Live. Uh, You can grab archives if you'd like over at freetalklive.com. So check that out when you get a chance. They're all completely free. Something else that's free, you can go to proxpn.com slash FTL and download their free software to encrypt your internet connection. ProXPN is a global virtual private network that encrypts your data, meaning before it gets to your internet service provider, it's encrypted so your ISP won't know what you're doing online anymore. Right now, if you don't have ProXPN, your ISP is probably keeping records of every website you visit, every search term that you enter for, in some cases, as long as five years. Very, very likely. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL, grab the software and get it set up, get started. It's very easy. And then when you're ready to upgrade to get unlimited bandwidth, servers all around the world to connect to, the ability to privately torrent, go and check them out at proxpn.com slash FTL and then use our code FTL20 to get 20% off of that premium package. FTL20 is the discount code. That 20% off lasts for the lifetime of your account. That's not some introductory offer. That's for good. So again, code FTL20 at proxpn.com slash FTL. You get a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee on their premium account, and ProXPN does not keep records of your online surfing habits. ProXPN.com slash FTL, code FTL20. Right back in to your calls and thoughts. Uh, By the way, phones are loaded up. If you're trying to get through, be patient. Toll-free number 855-453. Let's go to... But there's also Skype, uh, username uh, LRN.FM. It's true. You can load up on Skype as well. Uh, Let's go first, though, to your calls. Wolf is with us listening to KMMS in Bozeman, Montana. Hello, Wolf. Hello, and thank you for having me on tonight. Welcome. You asked a caller two calls ago. Thank you. You asked the caller two calls ago. What would he do for border control? You can't control the border. It's physically impossible. So what you have to do is you have to get rid of every social program, every benefit that they would have by walking across the border into this nation. You'd have to get rid of every program that gives them the incentive, such as the 3.7 billion the government wants to run this to study that. That's $64,000 per illegal immigrant that just came across. That's how you have to do it. There's only one way to do that, and that is simply to not give them anything for coming into this country. I'm sold. No free health care, no free medicine. The fact is that this this country was built by immigrants that got nothing. And, um, you know, the the vast majority of our ancestry um, here in this country are people that came here, got no help, whatever, and built the, I mean, arguably the greatest nation on earth, but depending on what you mean by great. But, um, you know, a a very impressive uh, state if one's going to be impressed by states. Well, they, they did, and on their own, from the toils of their own labor, from the sweat of their own brow, they made themselves. And it could be done easily again. The problem is the federal gov- the federal agencies, because I make this clear, my federal government's okay. What? Slightly flawed, but my, constitu- my constitutional republic is okay. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> your constitutional, problem, your constitutional wait, 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 wait. republic has been dead for a very long time. Well, but... It is the agencies and agents, because a government is nothing but a dead entity. Indeed. (laughs) It's the people that are the problem. So what you have to have is you have to remove the people who are the problem. And sadly, throughout the history of this planet, no government has ever given up their power without a foot up their butt. Yeah, that's and true. And unfortunately, I don't see that happening now, in this nation. We have but seen you governments solve a lot of our problems. We have seen governments sort of uh, really? allow people to vote to be autonomous and things like that. Um, I mean, it hasn't always. And, and as a matter of fact, it becomes more and more rare as you look through history, uh, starting in uh, around uh, 1917 or something like that. Violence becomes a less effective mm-hmm. way of s- separating oneself from whatever organization, whatever state organization that. Uh, claims ownership of you how do you how do you do it then well it, you're here's, just... that's the, that is, here's the, the, the sixty four thousand dollar question yep. how do you stop a government from coming into your home taking your bank account raiding you at night with swat teams and body armor what do you do to stop that the best thing you can do um would be first off you should if you're a you know believe in the ideas of liberty i would recommend the, checking out the free state project secondarily you can keep, keep your money in bitcoin the government can't touch it rather than uh, putting money into you know 
bricks and mortar banking agencies that owe their allegiance to the U.S. government than well, put your money into Bitcoin. The government touched Ross Ulbricht's Bitcoin. Yeah, they they, they came after That's one right. guy, but there's a lot more people that have had their money taken out of banks um, than have had their money taken and from Bitcoin. He may have a secret wallet and somewhere. Too. Go ahead, Wolf. <laughs> somewhere. Uh, a free state project. Now, I, I understand. I've read the concept. I understand it. I, I like the idea. How do you keep the armed federal government from coming into the free state project and rounding you up or burning you down like they did at Branch Davidian? I think that you have to stand firm over time. Uh, that if you brandish weapons, if you have the weapons, and you know those, if you act like you're going to use those weapons, that the government knows how to deal with that. They're very good at that. Um, they dealt very well with secessionists in the past, and they're very good at um, those kind of things. You have to just simply say, look, I'm here. I'm peaceful. I'm not going to uh, participate. A couple other things, Wolf, to answer your question. Uh, the Branch Davidians all lived on one piece of property. Uh, Free State Project participants are spread out. There are over 1,500 of us, over 1,600 actually, who are here now in New Hampshire. The idea, of course, to move liberty-oriented people all to the same place and get active. So we have people spread out all over the place. There's not just one place they can target uh, to take everybody out. We have had uh, the FBI interested in the Free State Project. They have been investigating. At one point, they did want to get someone with a wire into the Keene Activist Center. So to some extent, we, you know, we're dealing with some level of, of infiltration, but as long as your movement is peaceful, and the people that I hang out with are definitely peaceful uh, here in the in the Free State Project, then there's not really much of, you know, if even if they are wiretapping you, for instance, there's not much information they're going to be able to glean that will be useful to them because nobody here is is uh, plotting violence within the Free State Project. There's that, no fight to be had. That, uh, that I know of. So I'm not worried about it personally, but I understand why people are concerned. I mean, they feel like, oh, well, if the Free Staters start to make a, to get a foothold, which, by the way, we've already gotten with, uh, what, a few dozen Free Staters that have already been elected to various offices across the state uh you know they're a little behind the ball if they want to stop us now because uh we're we're picking up steam i thank you for the call wolf the toll-free number is 855-450 free yeah there's risk involved in doing activism sure the federal government could drop nukes or roll in tanks or start assassination campaign of free state project participants but if that's what you think the government's going to do it's all the better reason for a free state project for god's sakes if you think that they're that dangerous yeah <laughs> then, then, then man oh man has this country slipped and if that's what you think if you think the government's that bad and they might be that bad if you think they're that bad then why would you want to continue cowering for the rest of your life I mean, if the government's so dangerous and so scary and so deadly that they're willing to do anything at all to keep their power, what, what's the purpose of being their slave for 70, 80 years or however long you last? What's the purpose of that life? 855 450 free. To me, freedom's a really important value. Now, I understand not everybody has that value. You know, to other people, family, and a job and a career or whatever that makes them happy, cool. I want to see more freedom in my lifetime, so that's why I'm here. Uh, the risks be damned. 855 450 free. There's risks in everything, and you got to take them to make, make free success. Freestateproject.org. Yeah, absolutely. Go check that out. If you love freedom, that is. If you don't, you should stay where you are. Um, and if you're in New Hampshire, you should leave. Free Talk Live. There are many things the human body can do. But maintaining the proper pH level isn't always one of them. That's where AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops can make a world of difference. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops helps your body do what's natural. Just a few drops a day helps rid your body of harmful waste and acid while promoting health and restoring vibrance and energy. Alkalizing boosts your immune system and can help fight headaches, irritability, cramping, and insomnia. Alkalizing also helps the body fight depression and even bone loss. To learn more about the importance of alkalizing and how you can find life-changing and vital balance please visit alkavision's brand new website at alkavision.com same great products but now easier to use and more informative than ever before to get your very own plasma ph drops for just 29.95 call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com that's a-l-k-a vision.com alkalize your body and supercharge your health at the new alkavision.com Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. 
FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at FPP.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot freetalklive.com Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm It's Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here. The number is brought to you by ProXPN, and it is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Here on Free Talk Live, we take Bitcoin. Want to buy some advertisements with Bitcoin? We'll sell them to you in Bitcoin. We were the first ad venue in the world to accept Bitcoins it's as a, a payment. It's a big claim, and no one has refuted it, so uh, I'll accept it as true. I, I, it's, it, I don't know if it's that big of a claim. I'm pretty sure that it's true. If you want to, if you got some Bitcoin and you'd like to contribute some to the show, then you can throw it in the tip jar at bitcoin.freetalklive.com. That again, bitcoin.freetalklive.com. If you don't have Bitcoin. Get yourself a wallet. Go to blockchain.info. You can grab a free Bitcoin wallet there and then load it up with right. ExpressCoin. Well, Bitcoins aren't free. They, as a matter of fact, they're the most valuable currency per individual unit of any currency on the planet. And you can get Bitcoins and several other different types of cryptocurrencies at ExpressCoin.com. They make it completely easy, legal, inexpensive, fast to get your Bitcoins. They pride themselves on their customer service. I've done lots of and lots of business with ExpressCoin, and I will continue to do it because these guys, they try very hard to get the job done, and it can be, you know, customer service isn't easy, and I can tell you there's a lot of Bitcoin businesses out there that are still learning the ins and outs of customer service. It's the wild frontier with Bitcoin. You can get yours by basically going to any... Uh, credit union in your town. As long as they have shared branching, you should call ahead just to make sure that they've got shared branching. Those are the magic words, shared branching. Um, and, and you can make a deposit there, and you'll have your Bitcoins within one business day. It's expresscoin.com. That's where you start. If you don't want to go into and make a deposit in a credit union, that's fine. You can do a money order check, wire transfer. They make it easy at expresscoin.com. You can even do it from your smartphone by downloading their app, expresscoin.com, now in Canada. 
All right, we continue your calls and thoughts about what's on your mind. Lots of people wanting to talk about immigration. Ladies first, Sheila is on the line in Norfolk listening to WNIS. Hi, Sheila. Hi, guys. I have a question. This cat, El Chapo Guzman, when he was arrested, was any of his assets confiscated by the Mexican government or the American government? And if they were, uh, did the, where did the money go? Maybe they could help out the Mexican people. I I sympathize and empathize with all the people, Mexican people, that fear for their lives, you know, because of the drug cartel and everything. But do is is Mexico on the poverty level, let's say, equivalent to Haiti? No, I no. don't think it's at the level of Haiti, not not by any stretch. But inefficient, uh, corrupt governments make for bad places to live, regardless. Yeah, yeah. I, I, aside from being frightened for their lives and everything, I just wondered, was Mexico just really in extreme, extreme poverty like Haiti, let's say? No. No, no the biggest not, problem, no, in, no, the biggest problem in Mexico— Oops, the, sorry. The, <laughs> oops, sorry. <laughs> what's going on there? We're having some technical difficulties. Go ahead. The biggest problem in Mexico is the U.S. government's illegality of drugs. Um, be It's the drug cartels that are able to get all this money, and then they cause the crime, and Mexico would be a much more peaceful place if either, A, Americans didn't do drugs, and that seems pretty unlikely, or, B, the U.S. government didn't— didn't make it so darn illegal. Countries that have uh, decriminalized the use of uh, of um, drugs have seen a downturn in their crime rates. Yeah, even even um, American kingpins and mafioso always contributed something to neighborhoods or something. And you mean tell me this guy oh. El Chapo Guzman didn't contribute anything? Oh, to try I don't to believe help that for a moment. I'm sure that in a lot of ways uh, you'll see that happen. It's just that you don't live down there, so you probably don't know the different ways that the uh, right. you know the the oh, kingpins yeah. are contributing down there. Thanks for the call, Sheila. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Uh, let's continue here. We've got Billy. He's in Southern Utah. You're on Free Talk Live, Billy. Hi, thanks. Uh, I've actually heard two of the things I wanted to mention about the illegal immigration uh, brought up. One, the guy from Montana said, you know, we've got to cut off all the benefits, uh, all the federal benefits. That's a big draw. Yeah, it's but huge. I don't understand all the people who think I don't think I don't understand the people who think the conservative solution is a bigger, more expensive police state. Well, what is we it? That's what, I, that's that's what I think. The, well, no, well, the Billy, that's here, all I ever I'm hear. one of those people. Um, you know, nobody's a, one of the things I've heard nobody address yet is just what we do to people, make people go through to try to come here legally. I actually Everybody have an said, article oh, about come that. Come here legally. Come here legally. Yeah, it's it's and, incredibly difficult. You know, we make these people have most of these most people who in America who love to gripe about people coming here illegally, they couldn't meet the requirements to do so themselves if they were down there in Mexico or in a further, you know, South American country. You are absolutely right they about that. In fact, I've got an article from immigrationpolicy.org that talks about how ridiculously impossible it is for the average person, and many of them around the world, to actually come here legally. So I'm with you right. on that, Billy. Coming but, to America legally means dying in poverty in Mexico. Well, I'm, so I'm with you on that, Billy, but I'm curious. You know, you kind of mentioned this conservative solution, and what I hear from conservatives typically tends to be very, you know, sounds xenophobic. It sounds like, you know, their solution is more border patrol, more military, more violence, uh, more checkpoints, more police state. So what is your conservative solution? Well, you've already hit on uh, on two of them, one being the eliminating the benefits. That reduces government spending. Okay. Big plus there. Uh, y'all hit on decriminalizing the drugs. All right. That's huge. You, These you are two stop, things you don't tend to hear from you, conservatives you, very often. Yeah, you don't sound conservative, but go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Yes, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, I've I've been a devout libertarian pretty much my whole life. Right. Some uh, people use the terms interchangeable. Yeah. For Harry Brown. I don't think they're interchangeable. This is the problem with interchanging the the term conservative <laughs> with libertarian. I mean, conservatives. Uh, 
you know, libertarians and conservatives are miles apart on this issue and on a lot of issues. Uh, the yeah, libertarians sure. have a lot in common. You know, libertarians have as much in common with uh, conservatives as they do progressives. They just have different things in common with uh, with both sides. So I like your solution so far. The uh, the other thing to address, I mean, I, I'm a hundred percent service connected disabled veteran. It takes me sometimes. I mean, just to get a dental appointment not long ago, it took me six months through the of VA? waiting when I called in for a toothache. Wow. Is that, is that yeah, through the so VA? I ended up paying out of pocket. Oh, wow. Crazy. Yeah, yeah we never hear good stories and, about uh, the VA from, from veterans. Oh, well, I hear some good stories. and I, I, I don't have any. Actually, Grand Junction, Colorado has a fantastic VA, uh, but it's the only one I can say anything good about. Hmm. Uh, anyways, these. These people have to have twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars in cash, or have a job lined up that will pay them that. But that job has to be willing to wait four to six times longer than what I wait for veterans medical care, so that they can get through the INS processing. Yeah. Billy, thanks for the call I mean, tonight, man. We're waiting three. Three to five years. It's, it's crazy, ridiculous. if not longer. Thank you. I appreciate the call. And I appreciate you bringing that up because I had brought in, or I actually hadn't brought it in. It was right there on the front page of our website. I'll have to uh, give a shout out to whoever it was that submitted it. But the story is, why don't they just get in line from the Immigration Policy Center? Let me give you a quick paragraph here from it. Uh, many Americans wonder why all immigrants don't just come to the United States legally or simply get in line to gain residence, a green card if they're undocumented. Yet few people understand how grossly out of date the U.S. immigration system is and how unable it is to keep up with the demands of growing and changing U.S. economy and to reflect the needs and values of our diverse nation. Suggestions that immigrants who are in the U.S. Illegal, illegally, numbering in an estimated 11 million, should simply get in line miss the point. There is no line available for them. And the regular channels do not include them. If given a choice, opinion surveys of undocumented immigrants indicate that 98% would prefer to live and work legally in the United States and would do so if they could. Furthermore, a recent survey of Latino immigrants found that more than 9 out of 10 who have not naturalized said they would if they had the possibility. However, most undocumented immigrants do not have the necessary family relationships to apply for legal entry. Or if they do, they face years or even decades of waiting for a visa. We'll give you a little bit more here when we come back. Your thoughts certainly welcome. The toll-free number, 855-453, and we'll take a bunch of your calls. If you're on the line, we'll get you on. Hang on. It's Free Talk Live. Business owners, listen up. Give me an L. Give me another L. Give me a C. What's that spell? Incorporation. Protection. Success. Incorporate your business. L-L-C. If you're about to start a business, these three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why LLC.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-915-2955 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from LLC.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Incorporation, protection, success. Incorporate your business. Call now for your free guide. 1-800-915-2955. That's 1-800-915-2955. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturing. If you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. 
Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit keenvention.info for more. Or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm. Free. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition, and of course, we'll take your calls about anything. Immigration's certainly been the hot topic tonight, but it doesn't have to be. What you call about tonight, it's Ian here. And Mark. Join us online at freetalklive.com. You enjoy the show? You want to help support Free Talk Live? Become an amplifier over at amp.freetalklive.com. It makes a big difference when you do that. If you heard the gentleman calling earlier uh, in the show tonight, uh, his name was uh, Echo from Cameroon, Africa. He's listening on satellite, listening on free-to-air satellite, and uh, him and his friends, he's turned the, the show on. He actually sent me a message saying that one of his friends contacted him, so was very excited to uh, listen to him speak live on the radio there. People have satellite dishes in poor places in the world because cable installations are practically unheard of. Uh, in places like that, you know, here internet in the, can even be hard in these um, fo- these places. But they can, power is hard in some yeah, of these places. Yeah, One yeah. night he couldn't call in because he was in Chad, and when he called the Freedom Fiends, there was a generator on in the background, and well, apparently that went out at some point. So uh, you know, that's a different lifestyle, and it's hard for us to really even get a grasp on what it's like there, unless we've actually been there. It's interesting, though, to get a a bit of a slice of it. So uh, you can join us on Skype. By the way, our Skype username is lrn.fm. But I wanted to mention Akko's call because, you know, we'd love to be on more satellites worldwide. But there's money involved in that. And if you want to help us get the ideas of freedom and liberty and peace out to places like Cameroon, Africa, you can do that by supporting the AMP program. Go to amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live is heard, and lrn.fm, my little internet network, is heard in a lot of countries thanks to KU Band satellite delivery. We're on across North and Central America and across East, West, Central Africa as well, which is very exciting. And we can do more. We can do more, but it costs more. So go to amp.freetalklive.com. Plus, you'll help us get on radio stations here in the United States. We have over 150 stations that carry the show at various times throughout the week. Plus, we'll bring new internet listeners on through things like Google AdWords. So we've got a bunch of different tentacles out there in getting Free Talk Live into people's ears, and you can help us with that and get perks for yourself. Go to amp.freetalklive.com and get signed up there for as little as 5 bucks a month and get the perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Right back to your phone calls and thoughts. Matthew's on the line with us in Virginia. Matthew, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, good evening. Hello there. Um, I do have a suggestion. Uh, you um, hit on the, the two with regards to how to address the immigration. Um, I believe, unfortunately, there's, there's something the United States has to do 
that other countries um, uh, have taken under their wing, which is provide a national ID card where you have to be a citizen in order to acquire one. Your employer has to most certainly make sure that it's you, it's your ID card. And by doing that, if an employer hires an illegal alien who doesn't have a card, basically you penalize that employer both personally as well as corporately and drive them out of business. Yep. Um, I think that that's, will, is this what you're advocating, Matthew? That's what I would suggest. I that's mean, a terrible that's idea. So let me ask you this, Matthew. Uh, you know that there's, you know there's going to be a black market in these, right? If, if the ID card has a chip in it, a national chip that perhaps it can be scanned by a computer or something, we could make it secure somehow. Well, I mean, because okay, <laughs> so in um, in Afghanistan and Pakistan, there were uh, what they're calling terrorists or rebels or whatever they are insurgents that uh, hacked their the U.S. drones with uh, about. Twelve dollars worth of stuff. They, they, they took, they took control of one of these drones that was bombing people with like a paper towel tube and some tin foil. <laughs> all right. So to suggest that somehow um, the U.S. government, who couldn't get Obamacare, Obamacare website up and running um, in the same way that well any other business can, they would somehow put a chip in there that somebody wouldn't be able to hack or replicate really doesn't does a disservice to the hackers out there because they'll do a fine job. So, Matthew, I'm just curious as to what your excuse, vision excuse, is here for the— yeah, Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Excuse me. Canada, you can't—from what I understand, you can't get a job if you're not a citizen in Canada, if you can't prove your citizenship in Canada. Uh, look, you can't uh, work the, 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 they the thing I'm saying— we have. There's the, well, the, they 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 aren't on the border with Mexico, and it's a lot colder. People want to go there a little less. But they we, don't here, have the problems we have. Uh, indeed, there are certainly different problems here and there. Okay. But the and, question and is, is for you. if you if you visit Japan, if you visit Japan, they want to know when are you leaving? Oh, yeah. Where's your return ticket? They're very they're gonna xenophobic out, over they're there. Gonna <laughs> check out your, they're going to check out your they're going to check out your inoculation. Yep. They're going to check out they're going to check out they're going to check out they're going to you're not. You're not entering Japan. I'll you're tell you what. Into you should be worried okay? about whether or not your kids can immigrate to China because this place is turning into a police state that isn't good for business. And yeah. America is going down the tubes. And Matthew, it sounds like that's what you want. It sounds like you're calling for a police state. Let me ask you a little bit about your national ID card idea because here in New Hampshire and several other states, we rejected the national ID. But uh, let me ask you more about what you mean. If I, if you have this national ID card and it's got the chip like you want it to have, then uh, it's all secure, etc. Am, am I going to be required to have that on me at all times? Let me ask you a question. No, no, no. How I would, asked you a question. You sh well, you should carry it on you at all times. Well, you're the paper. <laughs> your papers. <laughs> what, piece of paper, what piece of paper do you have in your pocket right now that proves you're a U.S. citizen? I have no proof I'm a U.S. citizen. Can you okay, prove I'm a U.S. So citizen? You can, be, you can just be deported right now. Citizenship. You have no way of Citizenship's just the new slavery, man. You're a citizen or not. Citizen, citizenship's just the new slavery. The government claims you as their property, taxes your labor, and then tells you you're free. Okay, but you can't. You, if, for instance, if you're down in um, New Mexico or wherever, and and what what's that sheriff's name? If he Arpaio. picks you up and wanted to, and he wants to detain you unless you prove you're a citizen, the only piece of paper you can have in your pocket to prove you're a citizen. Is your passport? Now you know That's as well it. as I do that when they do these, um, they they do these randomized checks for citizenship. They let all the people that sound American go. They're not going to bother I, me. They're not going to bother you. They might bother you, Mark. It's very unlikely. I'm a, I'm a little. There's no doubt. I'm a little swarthy. What about but, that pastor that they pulled you know through his I'm window little, and beat I'm, him? I'm, I'm, I'm a skeptic about anybody who can complain about something. But don't make a solution. Don't offer. What would be your solution? My to solution to is. I don't want to control people. Thank you, Matthew, for the call tonight. Again, my solution is to uh, do away with all social welfare programs, period. End of story. Not for U.S. citizens, for everybody. Mm -hmm. But I will be willing to make some compromises on this. But this is my solution. Get rid of all social welfare programs um, and then let free people cross the borders of free countries freely. That's, I don't care which order it happens in. Uh, that's fine by me. But I think what that would do is that would put a tremendous amount of pressure on places like Mexico and uh, countries in Central America to be more free and then there they wouldn't have the you know the, the, the corruption would go away these countries would be more free and those people would be prosperous where they were you wouldn't see the problems
According to the story that I just touched on at the American Immigration Council, those who are here illegally generally do not qualify for legal immigration as refugees unless they come from a handful of countries experiencing political unrest. Most undocumented immigrants do not work in professions that qualify for a green card. The annual number of green cards for lower-skilled workers is extraordinarily small and insufficient for America's enormous economy, which depends on high, medium, and lower-skilled workers. Oh, yeah. These these people are getting jobs. <laughs> they are working. But they don't have the most undocumented immigrants do not have the necessary family relationships to apply for legal entry or they face years or decades of waiting for a visa. It is next to impossible for the average undocumented immigrant to be a documented immigrant. Right. You tell them you you make the laws so that they can't do it and then say, "You're illegal for not doing it." I'll right. tell you what legal immigration looks like for the vast majority of Mexicans. It looks like Mexico. It looks like not an option. It, legally. For the vast majority of people in Central America, down there in Guatemala, and Nicaragua, Belize, what what legal immigration in the United States looks like is their home country. Getting a green card, and we're going to continue with your calls coming up here, hour number three, just a little bit more here from the story. Getting a green card is generally limited to four different routes, employment, certain family ties, refugee, or asylee processing, and the diversity lottery. Each of these groups includes specific paths, which in turn are subject to specific limitations like the number of visas available or eligibility requirements, and of course obstacles, for instance, limits by country. Some of the supposed... Oh, and traveling there, how are you going to apply for this? I'm sure I'm eligible for all kinds of government money right here in the United States. I don't apply for it because I don't know anything about it. Uh, some of the supposedly available routes are, in fact, unfeasible. An employer can request permission to bring in a qualified foreign worker in certain professions based on job skills and education level if the employer cannot find a qualified U.S. worker to take the job first. Most of the qualifying professions are high-skilled and require high levels of education, such as scientists, professors, and multinational executives. The total number of green cards available for all lower-skilled workers is limited to just 5,000 per year for the uni entire United States. You can I mean it's just it's next to impossible to get this done legally. But people still want to come here because there is a chance at a better life. And that's what's a motivator. So, yeah, some people are motivated by welfare. I've never met those people. I know they exist, but of all the immigrants I've known, they've all been hardworking good folks. More coming up here. Hour number 3 is on the way. 855-450 freeze our toll-free number. It's Free Talk Live. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burkridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. 
From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, July 12th, 2014. Silver is trading at $21.46 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,339 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $630. Antiwar.com reports Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says that calls for a ceasefire will not have any impact on the ongoing attacks on the Gaza Strip and that Israel will attack with increasing intensity in the days to come. Netanyahu insisted no international pressure will prevent us from operating with full force, adding that the U.S. and other nations expressed support for the ongoing strikes. Realistically, the international pressure has been virtually nil, with only a handful of general calls for restraint and no serious efforts to start negotiation. A ground invasion seems only a matter of time. Indeed, Israeli Army Chief Benny Gantz said the military is all set for the invasions and is just waiting for final instructions from the Netanyahu government. Netanyahu ducked questions about the prospect of ending the offensive, saying only that it would end when he feels he has achieved his goal. When asked about a ground invasion, Netanyahu would only say that Israel is weighing all possibilities, except of course for the possibility of not continuing the attacks. Netanyahu also insisted that the latest Gaza conflict proved that Israel could never allow an independent Palestine in the occupied West Bank, insisting that it would simply become another 20 Gazas. Netanyahu said, I think the Israeli people understand now what I always say. There cannot be a situation under any agreement in which we relinquish security control of the territory west of the River Jordan. He then singled out Secretary of State John Kerry for criticism for pushing the two-state solution, saying, We live here. I live here. I know what we need to ensure the security of Israel's people. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. USA Today reports, following a string of contentious protests in Southern California, U.S. Customs and Border Protection announced Thursday it will no longer send busloads of undocumented immigrants to San Diego or El Centro. The immigrants, mainly families and unaccompanied children from Central America, were being bused to facilities in San Diego and El Centro every three days to alleviate overwhelming detention facilities in the Rio Grande Valley in Texas. Lombardo Amaya, union president of the El Centro chapter, of the National Border Patrol Council in a message to the Desert Sun said, It looks like with almost 1,000 processed between El Centro and San Diego, for now it helps. This does not mean that we will not continue to receive more loads in the future. Border Patrol spokesman Paul Carr said the agency has reduced its backlog in South Texas and is now able to process more immigrants there. Carr said the decision to discontinue transfers to San Diego and El Centro was not not a result of the ongoing protests that have taken place in Murrieta, California. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. Antiwar.com reports Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko is vowing revenge after a missile strike by eastern rebels struck a military base, killing 23 soldiers and wounding nearly 100 others. The rebels fired rockets on a base at Zilano Pilya with a BM-21 Grad, a multiple launcher rocket system common to Soviet bloc countries in the late 1960s. It is one of the deadliest rebel strikes in the ongoing conflict. Ukraine's interior ministry dubbed the incident a terrorist act, declaring the rebels to be bloodthirsty scum for striking the military target during what is basically open warfare in Ukraine's east. Russia continues to press the UN Security Council to come up with a plan for a ceasefire, though Ukraine's government has ruled out any further cessation without an unconditional rebel surrender, and the U.S. is loudly endorsing Ukraine's offensive against the mostly ethnic Russian rebels. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. 
A report confirms that many Iraqis are still holding a petty grudge about the U.S. invasion. An advanced alien civilization discovers an uninhabitable planet, and a single woman has a Facebook profile picture with her sister. This is The Onion Week in Review. A groundbreaking study published Monday in the Journal of the American Medical Association confirmed that it is impossible to lose weight, no one has ever done it, and those who are trying should give up immediately. Researchers said that findings conclusively prove that shedding excess weight has never happened, changing your physical appearance is impossible, and that all sorts of exercise personal training regimens and diets will never ever work. Well our test results conclusively prove that if you're going to the gym to lose weight, you will fail. You can work out every day and eat nothing and you still wouldn't lose an ounce. Skinny people will stay skinny, overweight people will be overweight. That's just how it is. In other news, an area man is outraged his private information is being collected by someone other than advertisers. And a crowd cheers as this 93-year-old <laughs> up finally graduates from college. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the third hour of the program. It is the live Saturday edition of the program here tonight, the program being Free Talk Live, where you may call in to talk about anything you want with you in the studio tonight. It's Ian here. And Mark. Don't forget to join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you on our website. Those other talk show hosts want to charge you for their website, so we do it free. So head over to freetalklive.com and get interactive as we jump in back right into your calls and thoughts. Derek is listening in upstate New York. You're on Free Talk Live. Derek. Thanks very much. I'm out in my car in the country, so I apologize for that if my reception is iffy. Sound fine so far. Uh, so, Go ahead. Excellent. Um, I just tuned in for the first time tonight. I'm picking you up on a local radio station. Man, and, you are um, in shock. So- <laughs> so bear with me. I'm sensing that I agree with you on some things, and okay. I, if I may, re- if I may respectfully disagree with you on something, if we can still be friendly about it. Let's do our best. Um, I, I have a comment and a solution, you know, to the border situation. Now I'll put the solution forward first, in case we don't have time to for the comment right. after the comment. Um, so Glenn Spence, who is a rancher along the border has an organization called American, I believe it's called American Border Patrol. I think he's been on Alex's show. And he's a very interesting guy, and he's lived the border crisis for many years. And American Border Patrol, by the way, is not government. It is a private organization. Now, he has developed, and he presented this to the government, and they didn't want to have anything to do with it. He 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 developed a series, a system, a network of sonic detectors that he would strategically place at high altitudes and had an over 90% success rate apprehending people who come in. And may I just make the case for a secure border, number one, according to the INS, Immigration and Naturalization Service, the United States allows over 2 million people a year to come in through the system legally. And so I think that's quite a good start right there. We can always expand that and talk about that. So there's a screening mechanism, which I don't think is a bad thing. Now, if we can secure the Border Patrol through this very inexpensive uh, technology, then I think we should support that because that will make sure that the police state doesn't extend 100 miles in with all the checkpoints that we both object to. Now, I I see that there's two kinds of freedom. There's freedom to do something. And there's also freedom from things. So in, or, in other words, and I think it comes down to a private property issue, because if I put a fence around the perimeter of my property, that's not impeding somebody else's freedom to come in. It's protecting my freedom to have my private property. Absolutely so agree. Sure. So um, think, but the United States so isn't totally, your property. I yep. mean, it's it's a bunch of people, and I disagree um, whether people should be, you know, the the way the United States government decides to uh, do immigration. But yeah, if Let you want to keep about, people, well, if you want to keep people off your property, that makes sense. It's fine. That's your business. But but the high flying sonic what? There, there were sonic detectors that he placed on the ground at very high altitudes on hilltops, so to speak. And and if they were high enough, he only had to use a very few of them to do a bit, great deal of area. And then as people would come in, the sonic detectors would pick up that motion, like up that noise from their movement. He could call a team, and they could go out and encounter whoever's coming in against the system. And I think and it's don't, they have, don't they have living things um, there? I mean, I, I, if I put a sonic detector on the top of a mountain near my house and went out, went out to investigate every noise that we heard— um, No, be- they, said it, they, kept, 
they calibrate it to the, the size and noise that a human being would make at a, you know, 140 to 220 pounds. It's, and there's not a lot of deer-sized, human-sized animals out there. So it really worked well. He had over 90% success rate. Yeah. So I, Derek, I uh, that as a real solution. So, I mean, what was it that you said you, we, you agreed on? You said you don't want a police state and you believe that these detectors would somehow uh, restrict the police state? I, I, yeah, I disagree with you in that uh, a, having a secure border does not necessarily mean a police state. One line that runs between U U.S. and Mexico with some border patrol and some sonic detectors with no interior checkpoints, that's a whole other thing we're allowing to happen. Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with the border. They're just using that as an excuse. So you don't like the interior checkpoints. State. But what about, uh, you know, because there's people out there who want to have, like the guy who called earlier, the national ID card. He wants to have all the employers doing the dirty work for the government government and, you know, trying to identify all the people that want to come work for them and keep files. And then, would you want the government to go and uh, raid employees, uh, employers, and, you know, check people's papers and files and things like that? Yeah, no, absolutely absurd. No national ID, no no, no raids. Um, but there's going to be some compromise and some people coming in illegally. But I think if we use the that program that Glenn Spence developed with, the, you know, minor uh, you, you wouldn't have many people coming over because it worked so well. The, send them home within 30 days. Well, well hold on. Mainly. Wait a second. Um, I mean, th okay, there's a large percentage of the illegal illegal population, the undocumented population here in the United States um, that is from China. Now, we're talking about an extremely large, wide, deep deterrent. We call it the Pacific Ocean that uh, separates uh, us from them, but somehow they get over here. You understand that when you put up these little sonic detectors, Detector dealies that uh, that the very resourceful people that want to feed their families and live a better life will figure out how to get around it, right? Here's the thing: when they come here, there's no way you're ever going to get rid of the benefits. So they're going to vote themselves my money, and that's impinging stop on my freedom. Stop paying your money, then. Stop stop cowering in the fear of uh, the federal government hurting you, and stop giving them your money if you don't want it to be taken and spent in ways that you think are poor. I mean, is, is immigration the only issue that you think the federal government's doing a crappy job on? Oh no, I think they're crappy on everything. But well, fire them. Well, right. So why do you want to have more government bureaucrats along the border? And I'm sorry. And why you know, do you want to turn no, that no, government no. loose on people who just want to make a better life for and themselves? And Derek, I'm sorry, but you know, despite your your best of intentions, the government's not going to keep the police state small. They're not going to keep it. Well, we'll just have it's these not in detectors. Their We're just going to bring detectors in. No, no. They want to double the size of the bureaucracy. They want to have the military in on the border. I mean, right. it's crazy police to, state. To say man. that if the government would just do this, they wouldn't grow is kind of silly. It's like saying if this cow pie were potpourri, then, <laughs> then the world would be a better place. Well, yes, it would, but a state is an organization of violence, and that's what they're going to do. Well, this, once again, I've got to go back to the system that was developed. It doesn't require many Border Patrol agents to go out and apprehend people. You don't understand really how the working. government works. They don't care right. about all that. They want more well, government. They want more Border Patrol, and you will never be in charge. Derek, thanks for the call, man. I appreciate you uh, dialing in here, at least having a vision for something. More money, thanks. more guns. Yeah, he, it's a new idea. Yeah, toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Now, there's certainly plenty of uh, companies who are manufacturing gizmos that I'm sure would love to sell those gizmos to the federal government right. in order to, you know, a top dollar, of course, in it order did to remind, stop immigration. It did remind me of the uh, the porno scanners at the airport, because this really yeah. is just another good idea for technology that was going to fix terrorism in the United States. Please. I mean, the first one people wouldn't go through because they were afraid it was irradiating them, and now the you know they're passing out pictures of uh, women that go through, and I don't know. It's a big mess. Every time you give, uh, I mean, the government, it, it, it has failed its way to here, and people are still trying to figure out how to make it better. Look, I understand we need government. I'm not against government. But what was what makes every other organization better? It's competition. And if we could just have competition between governments, if people could choose if governments weren't tied to land masses, but instead people could choose which government organizations they wanted and what kind of protection they wanted, you'd have a much freer world, and it would serve everyone far better. And you wouldn't be trying to keep some – you're spending all your time trying to keep some people on one side of a map. Let's continue. You can bring up anything you want. Bobby is in Lakewood, Florida. You're on Free Talk Live listening via TuneIn. Hi, Bobby. What's on your mind tonight? 
Okay, what's on my mind tonight? Um, I already got a feel of how you guys feel about this, but um, in Florida they got this thing called the Baker Act, and then I have a friend in California, and this happened to him, they call it a 5150, mm-hmm. and what it is, it's a 72-hour involuntary hold to where they put you in a mental ward. Yep. Yes, they do. That's I heard the Baker a, Act. I, le- I remember hearing a lot about the Baker Act in Florida. And basically, can it just be like a neighbor who calls them on you? What is it that's required? I mean, it's okay. an, I remember it's not much. Like, somebody can just make a phone call and have you Baker Acted, as they call it. Yes, well, this was what happened to me um, about a week ago. And when stuff like this happens, I always call you guys. Um, I was at uh, a family get-together dinner, which, uh, you know, I really don't already don't get along with them, but we had my sisters over and stuff, a family get-together dinner. Oh, boy. It's and, never uh, good when the sister. family gets together and somebody calls the law. Hang on, uh, Bobby. We're going to okay. get your story out here, give you time to tell it here in a moment. More with Bobby and the Baker Act. You probably have something like that in your state where they can just snatch you up, put you in a mental ward for 72 hours. Free Talk Live. Business owners, listen up. Give me an L. Give me another L. Give me a C. What's that spell? Incorporation. Protection. Success. Incorporate your business. L-L-C. If you're about to start a business, these three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why LLC.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-915-2955 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from LLC.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Incorporation, protection, success. Incorporate your business. Call now for your free guide. 1-800-915-2955. That's 1-800-915-2955. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is the Onion Week in Review. According to friends, colleagues, and complete strangers, anxiety-ridden man Timothy Gibula is rightly ashamed of every single thing he does, with mere acquaintances saying they're constantly judging Gibula at every moment, just as he suspects. Tim's the kind of guy who's forever second-guessing his behavior, as if everyone's constantly scrutinizing him, and he's completely correct. We all are. We can spend entire afternoons picking apart Tim's taste in clothing and his receding hairline. It's honestly all we do when he's not around. Anytime he uh, awkwardly says excuse me when he's waiting in line for milk or sugar, uh, anytime he fails to make eye contact with me when he asks me for the Wi-Fi password, not only do I notice these things, but I use them to judge him fundamentally as a human being. A three-alarm fire that tore through a family home in Newark, Delaware early Saturday morning tragically claimed a half sleeve of Oreo cookies that were trapped inside a cupboard. At the time of the blaze, the residence was occupied by Mike and Sheila Donlan, their three young children, and six delicious chocolate sandwiches cookies, all half dozen of which perished in the intense heat and towering flames. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? 
For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and it's the live Saturday edition of the program. Here to take your calls about anything you want to discuss is Ian. And Mark. And join us online at freetalklive.com. All the features we give away, those other talk show hosts don't. Go and check it out and enjoy and get interactive over at freetalklive.com. Another great website for you to check out, freedomsphoenix.com. They're uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies every day at freedomsphoenix.com. It's the real news that lies between the lines of propaganda and the relationship we have with coercive governments. Freedomsphoenix.com offers up-to-the-minute updates on the economy, technology, communications, and the rise of the police state. Go to freedomsphoenix.com and get signed up for their free daily dispatch. Freedomsphoenix.com. Bobby is in Lakewood, Florida, calling about what's called in Florida, but it will be called something different in your state. In Florida, it's the Baker Act, um, and there's this is you know something that exists in almost every place, from what yep. I understand. Basically, it's a 72-hour psychological hold. Um, right, so if somebody thinks you're crazy, they can call the police, and uh, they're going to take you and put you into a crazy house for up to 72 hours. Potentially. Uh, and that's what Bobby is going to tell us about, presumably. He said he was at a dinner, a family dinner of some sort, but you don't get along with everybody there, Bobby, and uh, that was kind of where you got to in your story. Are you there? Yes. All right, go ahead. And the 72 hours, that's some uh, bull crap because they can have hold you longer than 72 hours if they want to, and all they have to have is a doctor's approval, and mm-hmm. they have a magistrate come in um, on Wednesday into the medical ward, and all the doctors have to say, he's not ready, and they can keep you as long as they want. And wow. they can even send you to a state mental house for uh, any reason that the doctor feels like. It's crazy. So I'm at the family gathering, and um, uh, uh, my dad's going on about uh, uh, the immigration thing, you know, and I'm, I was tired of hearing about it. You know, I started talking to him about liberty, and I was talking to him about, um, uh, you know, some of the things you guys talk about. And uh, my dad told me, well, why don't you just go kill yourself? He, and he He's against my lifestyle choices. I'm, I live an alternative lifestyle. He's against that. And uh, I said, well, maybe I will. Will that make you happy? Will that make you happy? And so um, 911 was called, and uh, the police got here by my parents. Okay. And you were at their um, house? uh, I had, yes, at their house. Okay. And so um, I I tried to leave before, uh, I didn't know they called 911, Mm. but I was getting my stuff together anyways to get ready to go. And uh, uh, when I was, you know, well, before I had time to even go, the police show up because I guess they there's, they got nothing else to do, so they show well, up. Suicide's going to be pretty and, high on their um, list of things that they got to do. Well, I, well, I didn't com- I didn't say I didn't I, say I was going to commit understand. suicide. It was him threatening me, you know, go kill yourself, you know, and it was just me saying, just me out of just me, um, being upset. And so maybe maybe I will. Will that make you happy? And, and it, it was said in jest, not that oh, I was wow. I, I wouldn't actually do it. That might make him actually happy. So I wouldn't do something to actually make him happy like that. And so they were called, and <clears throat> the cops came out, and I told them exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, they went ahead. And that was probably a mistake. A Act. It, w- it was probably well, a mistake to tell the police what had happened. Uh, the best thing, in my opinion, now this is just my opinion as an activist and knowing uh, the police, I and I, the and best I thing to do would have been to go ahead and I just leave. Agree. Would have just been if the cops were arriving, oh, I was just on my way. Have a nice day. And then get out of there and don't answer any questions. But So what happened? They arrested well, they, they, you after you admitted forced... to, to uh, saying something about suicide? Yes, yes, they did, mm-hmm. and um, uh, they they cuff you. They don't cuff you from the back. They cuff you from the front, at least, and then they take you down to the uh, the local mental ward. And uh, I was actually in there. I had to actually go and see a court uh, uh, magistrate on the Wednesday that the court comes through because they wanted to keep me an extra two, three days, four days, or whatever. And um, uh, 
the doctor won absolutely, and I was in there for a total of six days because they only keep you three, but he wanted to keep me another three. And what were three. the uh, inquisitions like? I mean, did, I presume they sat you down and you had to answer some shrinks yeah. questions. Was he asking you oh, a lot yeah. about suicide? What was that like? That was like, um, uh, have you been abused as a child? Um, they are asking me. Do I um, uh, feel like I'm hurting? Want to hurt myself? And then they did psychological evaluations. Um, have you been depressed? And so you explained um, uh, to the, these people, right? Like, uh, well, I was just saying that to my parents. It was just a thing between us. It was no big deal. And it took them six days to let you out. Yes, exactly. And you get no compensation. You're just well, gone. Do you from have your a job? Life. I mean, the, did you lose your job? I mean, I would think oh, that oh, oh, many I, people. I, you know, I, I, I had my job, yes, and uh, you know I couldn't come from the crazy, sure. crazy house. So I had my girlfriend um, call my work, and every, everything was okay at least for that. Well, but thank goodness it did look bad on me missing there's, those days. There's a lot of people in America, a good percentage of people in America that are a six-day stay in a loony bin away from poverty. I mean, it, you know, <laughs> you don't come into work. You don't have even if you do. If you say, well, you know, they're, they're you know, little Johnny's in the crazy house. Oh, Bobby, yeah, well. thanks for the call, man. I'm glad you made it out, Thank and uh, thanks for sharing that with our audience tonight. It's people. People need to be aware that this stuff exists. I mean, you don't know it unless you happen to know somebody who's been Baker acted. And again, that's in Florida. It's called something else where you live. Some kind of act, or what was it, the 5150 in California? Something to that effect. Whatever they want to call it. Yeah, it's just some sort of thing that some law that gives them the authority to just take you if they don't like something you've said or somebody else doesn't like something you've said. I mean, that's outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. It obviously wasn't a clear threat of suicide in that case. And I just don't think that's, I just don't, I don't really find it humane at all. I think it's horrible. I think it's one of those tough situations if you're dealing with somebody who's, um, you know, Bonkers! How do you get them in? Um, how do you get them into the system? I think that uh, the the liberty. Uh, you know, I don't know, but the system sucks. State hospitals sure are notorious for abusing patients and yep, being sure hor- horrifying places to be. So it can be done better, and it shouldn't be done by the state. Whatever it is, however that's going to work, and it is one of the toughest questions I think facing uh, liberty-minded people is what about the crazy people. Like the real crazy people, not that caller. He's not. He didn't sound no. crazy, uh, but like real crazy people. Well, you know, how do the you fact deal is with that them? Plenty of people will call you and I crazy. In the Soviet yeah, Union, true. this is what they do to throw people in the gulags. Yeah, oppositional They'd say they're defiance crazy. disorder. Right, oppositional defiance dis- disorder and a variety of other things. And, you know, that's as far as somebody's in power, there are people listening to this radio program right now that believe that the only, the only possible explanation for our position on immigration is we're crazy. <laughs> That's the only explanation. Some guy, some guy called in um, and just said something. Said, "Hey, do you guys lock your doors at night?" Hmm. Well, <laughs> if if my problem, um, if if the fear that I had was that people would come in and clean up my house and mow my lawn for a low price and uh, you know may only take that much money, then no, I would stop locking my doors immediately. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts and go to ladies here first. We've got Karen in Des Moines. Karen, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello. Hi, How Karen. are you tonight? Good, good. Are you listening on KWQW perchance there? Um, no. When I listen to you, I listen to uh it used to be called Way Wow FM. Yep, that's them. KWQW Forge. on FM there in Des Moines. Oh. Stand oh, by. I want to get you on the air. I know you've got a question that has nothing to do with immigration, but that's totally cool because that's Free Talk Live. And we'll talk to you about anything. So hang on, Karen. We're going to bring you on here in just a moment. Your calls are welcome. You may bring up whatever's on your mind. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And, oh, we've got Skype, by the way. You can Skype into the show. Our username there is lrn.fm. There's more Free Talk Live coming up. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. 
Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner, and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't tread on meme. M E M E. Helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value. And they look neat, too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy-to-use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at don'ttreadonmeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't tread on meme your path to a voluntary society with honest money. Don't tread on meme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live, the live Saturday edition of the program. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and it's brought to you by ProXPN. You can also join us via Skype. Skype username for you to use to connect to us is lrn.fm. And you can get a free pound of coffee. A free pound of, of delicious, shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica beans. This is Great coffee, and you can get it for free. You just pay for the shipping by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. There, you're, what you're doing is, is you're signing up for a, a subscription. You get the first pound free to try it out, see if you like it. It is uh, BuzzBox coffee. And the thing that's different about BuzzBox, the reason that we've partnered up with them, is not only do they want to provide you with high-end coffee, lots of companies want to do that, but they have a real commitment to their workers and to people in poverty around the world. So Free Talk Live is able to give a micro loan to, for every 10 people to get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, the coffee you already drink. 
the coffee that you enjoy daily. And matter of fact, it's probably better. Upgrade your coffee experience and help somebody in a foreign country by going to coffee.freetalklive.com because we're able to give a micro loan for people who are in need, whether they, um, you know, they need a plow or to buy a a cow or a sewing machine or whatever it is that they need. They know better what they need than what you might just think to give them or some, you know, some charity or something like that. This is the hand up that they need rather than a handout. So coffee.freetalklive.com to get your free pound. Karen's listening to us in Des Moines on the radio. Hey, Karen, you're back on Free Talk Live. Hello. Um, that is the very thing I'm calling about is the microloan for people around the world. Yes. And um, I'm interested in that because um, I am on Social Security, and I have a plan that uh, that I can implement. But um, being on Social Security, I don't have finances. Mm-hmm. And there's a program, um, there, the, uh, the career or the profession... I want to go into is not federally regulated, so I don't have to have a license or certificate, but mm-hmm. I feel that is very, very, very good thing um, because I would be left out if I tried to like advertise in the yellow pages or something like that. And being on Social Security, I am 58 and I'm trying to get off Social Security. Mm. And so are you on Social Security other- Disability, like SSI or... Um- are we talking about Social Security retirement? Uh, no, disability. Okay, great. And I'm trying to get off of it, and uh, I don't have you know, any resources. I don't have family or friends to uh, you know, co-sign for a loan for me. The, uh, there's a program for certification, and it's $3,200, and uh, they... Space it out over six so you're wondering if you time. can get a micro loan. Is that the is that the question, or are you just wondering about? Yes, yes. I am looking. I am so desperate. I mean, and you need three thousand dollars. Is the idea? Thirty two hundred. Yeah. Thirty two hundred dollars. Yeah, I I don't 30, know much 30, about micro loans here in the in the U.S., but the first place I would go is wherever the certification place is. I'd talk to them yeah. about because they I oftentimes have. have financing and that kind of thing. They don't. They don't. Okay. Their, their their financing is to give you a six month period of time. And is to it, pay it off or, is your social months. security okay. to the point where you know you you're barely subsisting and you have nothing left it over? It always is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's a and good I'm question. I don't know how of often micro loans are granted in the United States. I've, I've always heard them. Heard as, of them? Yeah. I've always heard of them in relation to you know third world countries and things like that. I know uh, Kiva dot org is where I first heard about microloans from. That is a website that is still around, by the way, and they are still loaning out money. And and some of them is, you know, I'm looking here on their front page. Uh, they're doing loans from, you know, as low as uh, 200 bucks to a, over $1,000, $1,500 for uh, one guy to purchase construction materials. So I don't know if they would restrict a loan to the United States. I've seen people um, from the U.S. on Kiva. Interesting. And I've seen higher prices than 1500 up okay. there. So. Yeah, I was just looking at the front page, just eyeballing stuff. Yeah. So maybe that's a place to go, uh, Karen. Check out kiva.org and go online and okay. start researching. It's K-I-V-A, kiva.org, and you know research what your options are. I'm sure Kiva's not the only organization doing microloans. It's just the first one that came to mind for me, and I wish you the best of luck with your project. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Let's continue here. Norma is listening in Aberdeen to KBKW. Hello, Norma. Hi. Hey, welcome. Go ahead. Um, I've been looking for a job for a long time, and a friend of mine, uh, her uh, daughter went and applied for, at a, uh, a mainstream uh, craft store. I don't know if I can say the name or not. Um, uh, well, and uh, they wanted a uh, DNA test from her Whoa. in order for her to get the job. And I was like, that's kind of weird. And I said, I would not agree to something like that. And the lady did, and they took a swab of her cheek, and I was just wondering if, because I'd never heard of that before. Me neither. And, yeah. Yeah. Why would they do that? I, what would the, be the motivation for that? I don't know. That was That's what I asked. And she said all they were doing was waiting for her background check and all that to come back, and she had the job. 
but I was like, hmm. that was a little weird for me, and I just, there's no way I'd do something like that. Yeah, what sort of job-related information could an employer, uh, you know, re, uh, I guess, glean from that uh, that test? Well, I can tell you that uh, the government would love to know what the DNA is, is of everybody, right. who, um, but, you know, who's getting a job. So yeah. it could be some kind of. I don't know, e-verify kind of thing where, hey, we got to make sure they're not illegal or we got to make sure they're not a con- they don't have warrants or whatever. So they whatever. could be collecting this on behalf of the state is what you think? I don't know. That that was my question. I was wondering what your guys' thoughts were on something like that. It's creepy. I find it frightening. It's creepy. <laughs> what was the store allegedly that did this? Michael. Michael's Crafts. Wow. All right. Um, anything else you want to share tonight, Norma? Nope, that's all. Thanks for the heads up on that. That is definitely uh, creepy. And you mentioned the e-verify thing, Mark. This is uh, what was created as a voluntary program right. for businesses. It still is, from what I understand, but that may change in the future. The idea being that employers having this e-verify uh, capability, if somebody applies at that job, then they will be checked against some sort of federal database right. of immigrants or citizens or whatever, and given a green light to be hired, which, again, is a level of invas- uh, invasion of privacy that I don't think belongs in a so-called free country. I don't want it to go back to the immigration subject we were talking about earlier. I don't want to live in a place where... If I'm a business owner, I can be raided by the Immigrations and Customs Department any time they want to come in and check on me and my files and all my employees and make sure everything is, you know, by the books, by the numbers. I'm not interested in that service. I should be able to hire anyone I want to hire from anywhere in the world, who, as long as they meet my qualifications, as long as they'll do the job that I want to fill. I don't care where they're from. I want the best qualified people from anywhere. I should be free to do that. If it's a free country, shouldn't I be free to hire who I want? Toll-free numbers 855-450-FREE. Let's go and continue with your calls and thoughts. Uh, we've got Laura in Long Island. You're on Free Talk Live. Laura. Hey, how you doing tonight? Well, go ahead. My, my, th- my thoughts are this. Right now, uh, like I just voted recently in my primaries, and I, I voluntarily showed my driver's license. And uh, they said, oh, you don't have to do that. And I said, you know what? I want to do this. And I think we should all be compelled to do it. Otherwise, we have people that are not eligible to be voting, voting, and then we lose control of what's going on. We lose control of the government, and they're controlling us. (laughs) I got news for you. Even if you do check voter IDs, what matters is who counts the votes. So you can put all the security you want to around the people who are casting the votes. But if you don't control who counts the votes, then everything can be changed there. And there's okay, been plenty of evidence of voter fraud on that side. Could I say one more thing yeah. the way I feel right now? We have a president that does whatever he wants, and everybody is afraid to challenge what he's doing. And we are under his thumb, and it's out of control. Isn't, isn't that true about all the presidents? Isn't Congress, ever? like, not let a single no, bill go this, through? this is unprecedented. This guy is unprecedented. Eh, I don't know about that. I don't think he's that different from oh, George I know Bush. About it. I he feel seems, it. Everybody he's, feels it. Everybody who, okay. who doesn't have a job feels seems it. Seems to me like he's George Bush the third. but whatever. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. More coming up. Your calls, and we'll sneak them in here in the remaining moments of Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. One little joint supplement. You know this powerful little pill is great for your joints. It even has powerful benefits to help increase your mobility and flexibility. But the joint supplements of today are sadly incomplete because they don't give you the joint relief you're looking for. Until now. Introducing the complimentary two-week sample of Instaflex, our most powerful joint formula ever. It's the number one selling joint supplement at GNC. The only thing our complimentary sample of Instaflex is missing is the price. Because right now, we're offering adults a complimentary two-week sample as part of a nationwide giveaway. Call and claim your sample today. 1-800-608-9424. Instaflex provides powerful, effective joint relief for your knees, hands, even your hips. Prove it to yourself by calling now for your complimentary sample. Instaflex is available at GNC, Walgreens, and CVS. But you can only get your complimentary two-week sample by calling 1-800-608-9424. Call now for your two-week Instaflex sample. 1-800-608-9424. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? 
Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Moments remain here. If you're not on the line now, don't bother because a lot of people are and we're going to try to get you all in here. By the way, it is Ian here with you. And Mark. I will not be back tomorrow night because Mark does the Sunday show with Stephanie and Brian. You know, actually, <gasps> uh, I will not be on what? this Sunday show. No, I am going to the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance's. Oh. Uh, I'm emceeing their dinner. Me too. Well, and, I'm not emceeing it, but I'll be there. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to point you out and, and make fun of you from the stage. Oh, okay. um, the, That's mature. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm paid for. I'm supposed to be at least mildly entertaining. Gotcha. And you, you're a laughing stock, so it's easy. <laughs> But uh, Brian and Stephanie will be here uh, manning oh, the good. mics, or oh, well manning the mics. They'll call on the it situation. their anarchist radio thing, they yes. like to call it. That'll they, be fun. They, sometimes they'll call themselves feminists, so maybe they'll be wall manning the mics. If you don't have it live in your area, then you can call your local radio station and ask real nicely to have Free Talk Live added to your airwaves. Um, in some places, they'll add us and they'll not sign an agreement. We don't really much care for that, but we'll still take it. You know, so welcome aboard to everybody listening to the show. Uh, so we uh, don't miss you know seven nights a week. You can always grab us online at freetalklive.com. We do talk about bitcoins a lot here on Free Talk Live. I think that they are uh, really a, a, a huge resource for liberty for uh, individuals. And the North American Bitcoin Conference is going to be held in Chicago. Really, coming up very, very soon here, July the 19th and 20th, it's at the McCormick Place South Building. There'll be all kinds of big names in the, the Bitcoin world talking about new innovations, talking about jobs. People will be offered opportunities there, business startups. The venture capitalists will be running around with their checkbooks ready to uh, write people checks. You can get your tickets at btcchicago.com. 
You can pay in Bitcoin if you want. BTCChicago.com. You don't want to miss this event. It's going to be a lot of fun. BTCChicago.com. Don is in Eureka, California, listening to KGOE. Go ahead, Don. You're on the air. Hi. Um, I could uh, change the subject or uh, it... Or I could maybe do both. And the just do one. one. Would be just do just one. do one. We got time for okay. one. I'm just going to say I don't have the fear around uh, people coming across the borders, and uh, that all these people that have called about it seem to have. Me and neither. I, I I just don't understand uh, it, and uh, so I understand. It is based on fear. Uh, the immigration xenophobia that we've been hearing throughout the night tonight and throughout the years here on Free Talk Live, it's based on fear that is being stoked by people who stand to benefit uh, from restricting the border, mainly the government bureaucrats and the people that you know want to protect their, uh, their, their industries from competition. Protectionism is a very, very common motivator, I think, to keep people out of the, uh, the United States. But it is you know, really based on fear because the government wants you to have a boogeyman. They want to have something they can point to, whether it's immigrants or terrorists or drug dealers, yeah. something they can point to to give them the excuse to give – uh, to to have people allow them to destroy freedom, to take things, take more money from you, to control you in more ways, yeah. and so the immigrants are the the boogeyman essentially for the government. They're nothing more than uh, than a foil for the state. They're being used yeah. a political football. And it's uh, it's disgusting. Any other thoughts, Don? Go ahead. Well, just uh, could you uh, answer the question that was uh, left with your uh, message taker? I don't have the message taker. You're talking about our call screener, and I don't, you know, he didn't pass me yeah. a question. So why don't you just ask the question? Oh, okay. Um, by chance, is uh, the fellow who started the Cliff Bars, is he involved in uh, this kind of a movement uh, of a kind of a, somewhere between libertarian and uh, free, and uh, liberal? I have no idea what the guy who started Cliff Bars is into. That is an interesting question. Okay. I don't know either, and I thank you, Don, for the call tonight, but I have had the Cliff Bars, and I like them. Yeah, I, I think that they're good if you need a, you need a lot of energy. I wouldn't call them um, – I mean, they're, they're better than a candy bar, but nutritionally, not a lot better than a candy yeah, bar. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> it looks like it's a candy bar made up to be like, a little bit fancier. If you're, I mean, they have a guy climbing a mountain. Like yeah. those are the kind of people that should be eating <laughs> Cliff Bars. <laughs> well, I gotta say, I'm not climbing any mountains. The only time I'll ever eat one of those things is if I'm in a rush going somewhere and I just yep. want to grab something thrown in a bag. The rest of us are better off with baby carrots. All right, so let's continue with your calls and thoughts. Jim's in Lynchburg, Virginia, listening to WLNI FM. Hey, Jim. Evening, fellas. I'm Welcome. calling about the temporary deprivation of your liberty because you may or may not be crazy. Yes. Uh, one of the things that the intersection of law and psychobabble industry, and psychologists, uh, mental health, quote unquote, professional, that is a dangerous intersection to be in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, here in Virginia, how that works out in reality is, you know, a police officer might come out like that fellow that talked to you earlier. And, you know, rubber meets the road. You're looking at a 23-year-old girl out of college with a four-year degree in psychology. You know, and 90% and of the time she she made it in psychology because the classes were cheaper than the therapy. You're saying that when you, get, when you get involuntarily committed, in there is where you will meet the 23-year-old psychologist? Your decision maker who's going to be out on the street, you know, uh, your friend there in the studio says, hey, you're crazy, and they call the police oh, officer the and yeah. he makes some kind of judgment, whatever, you're at a party, I don't know, whatever. Maybe like that example of that guy, his family, and, and you know, whatever. The, the decision maker that's going to be on the street that's it, it, going to decide whether to detain you in Virginia, you know, in most localities. Is going to end up being some kind of social worker. That's the. I don't think girl. they. Uh, I, well, I, I don't I think, think they the, call out a bureaucrat beyond a police officer for most of these, do they? Uh, I, I, I know of from experience in Virginia. Maybe in Virginia, um, I've never heard of that happening in Florida, but I, I don't know a lot of intimate stories with the the Baker Act. I mean, if somebody calls the police on a suicidal individual, odds are good they're not scrambling out a a, a social worker, right. a bunch of people in white coats. Now, let me ask you a few questions before we throw you in the the, the happy oh, wagon yeah, no, here. I mean, if, yeah, if you're up on top of the building saying goodbye, cruel world. I mean, that's obviously a that's that's a little different than. Mm -hmm. 
you know, some some other person said that you said something that they may be, you know, they have to have a, someone evaluate you other than a police officer. In that's Virginia, you're here, saying they have to have someone else evaluate you. I don't know if that's true right. everywhere else, Jim, but uh, thanks for bringing that to the table. Anything else you want to share? Well, I just think that, uh, that giving anybody that's a mental health professional any kind of legal power or giving the mental health profession any standing in courts is just dangerous. Very and, disturbing, and especially if they're in a position where they get the, uh, the they get you or whoever for 72 hours, and then as our caller earlier said, they can reassess you at that moment and decide, you know what, we need to keep you. And of course, keep the funding coming in because somebody's paying that bill, and it's probably the state. Thanks for the call, Jim. I appreciate hearing from you. Let's continue. Uh, Amos is listening in Charleston, West Virginia. Amos, you're yeah, on Free yeah. Talk Live. Right. I just wanted to kind of go on with that in a way that uh, you know, they had this, what, this one shooting uh, guy that, or, or some kind of a deal where the police came to his house and they made the decision that he wasn't mentally off. And then, what, the next day or something, he went over and, you know, and killed a bunch of people. Mm. You know, I mean, it works the other way, too. It, this, this, it's just been within, I can't remember, it's not one of these mass shootings. It right? was the one, it was the kid that uh, killed uh, killed the women and the men because he couldn't uh, find a girlfriend out in California. Is yeah, that the one? Yeah, that guy. Yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, the police were called, and they there was just nothing that they could do with him, and they let him alone. And of course, he went and did that. I don't know. It it has to be as a police officer. It has to be very difficult called up in that position. If if you're a good guy and you're trying not to just lock up random people for whatever, then you're likely to leave a lot of people and like, oh, you know, it seems okay yeah. to me. Um, but the, you end up in this, in many government jobs, you end up in this sort of cover your butt situation where, hey, you know, I, I what if he'd have gone out tomorrow and killed some people? Sure enough, there's a guy who, in fact, this happened to. Yeah. The, the the other thing is, I had a, a boy that I know at my church, a friend of mine. He he uh, he 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 just didn't like to leave his room. He was playing with his computer, and his two sisters just called up the cops and said he was a paranoid schizophrenic, just on their basis. Gosh. They're just busy. They called. They they came and got him, put him in a state mental institution. There was you know, not, there's nothing wrong with this boy. Uh, How long they, did they keep they, him? I have several months, wow. I think, and, and had him in group therapy and this kind of stuff. But you know, he's, he might be a little bit mentally slow, and when he, was in, when he was in high school, they just said he was mentally slow, and they put him in a special ed class. All he did was put him in a room by himself. And he, this guy, he had the ability to learn the Italian language. He knew about Greek mythology. He, uh, he was an excellent artist. He just, you know, it's like what you all talk about, you know, this, the school system. This kid was totally past there, and he holds down a, a regular forty-hour-a-week uh, job now. You know, but he, but he he got cheated by the whole educational system. Amos, thanks for the call and the story tonight. Mark's in Mansfield, Ohio. Last ten seconds, Mark, you got it. Go. Uh, the immigration uh, people busting them, the cops who are helping them, I believe they are uh, abating um, and or uh, however that goes. Um, Eating in a call us tomorrow night. We can talk yeah. further. 7 o'clock Eastern time. Mark, thanks for the call. We are out of time for tonight. Back tomorrow for the live Sunday edition. And we'll see you when we see you. It's freetalklive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. 
This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Pure Life Water, helping you drink better and live better by providing a zero-calorie alternative to sugary drinks. Visit us at nestle-purelife.us. When kids are playing, they often don't want to stop to keep hydrated. So send them out with a bottle of water and encourage them to take frequent drink breaks or call them inside for a quick sip. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 